Today we are attempting to win 24 championships with Kobe Bryant in NBA 2K. We're starting in 1996 when he got drafted and we're gonna be playing his entire career with one very big challenge, which is to win a championship every year. Now, the nice thing about 1996 is we actually start with Shaq already on our team, but there's two other challenges that we have with this video that we didn't have with trying to win 20 championships with LeBron or 23 with Michael Jordan. Yeah, I think this is like the most requested video I've ever gotten. And I know I said that last time, but hey, we gotta keep stepping it up and we'll see if Kobe can be the GOAT by topping both LeBron and Jordan. So here's a look at our team to start. We do have Shaq, which is nice. He's a 93, Kobe's only an 81, but he's 18 to start, which is obviously good for winning a ton of championships. But look, like Eddie Jones, Robert Horry, Rick Van Axel, like everyone else is pretty not good. Now the two main differences with this video that actually make it a lot harder. One is by choice, I will admit. But the first is that we're starting on November 1st. We're not starting in the off season. We can't make any moves in the draft or free agency, which we've always gone like absolutely crazy with. We start with this. And the only asset we really have is Shaq. And obviously we're not trading Shaq. The second is a twist that we're adding that will actually make things a lot more difficult. But in my opinion, a lot more interesting. Injuries are on we've never played with injuries on but this could definitely keep us from actually reaching 24. but it's time to start making some moves this feels really weird like normally i would just be trying to get draft picks nobody on the team is safe all right eddie jones i'm training for steve smith i know steve smith is still a two guard but maybe we can get someone better for steve smith and he will definitely help us win now okay Ooh, Vin Baker at the two, and he's getting paid less, and he's younger? Bro, that was like literally the first offer. Definitely taking that. All right, now Vin Baker's on the trading block. I'm not gonna lie, none of these offers are good. Hey, that was a good come up though. I could not get someone good for Robert Horry. I guess you're safe for now, man. Dude, like right after this, we have to play our first game. There's nothing more we can do after these trades. See, I would try to get Sean Bradley, but I mean, we have Shaq. Ooh, Kevin Johnson? See, that's a point guard upgrade right there. I would almost like consider this because it's a draft pick, but it's lottery protected. BJ Armstrong is one overall worse. And we don't really care about draft picks right now. We're in like panic mode to win now because this team will not win the championship like this. Evan Johnson for this guy, 84 overall. I mean, we already have a power forward, but he's younger and we might be able to get somebody good for him. I don't know if we want to gamble it. 84 versus 82 is a pretty big difference though. You know what? We're gonna do it. I don't care about that second round pick. Ooh, this might be just a trade up situation for Hershey Hawkins and that's a point guard and it's more safe. All right, there we go. Dude, I wish I was counting the amount of trades. The nice thing about 96 though, is I don't have to worry nearly as much about the salary caps. That was such a big issue with the MJ video. All right, Hershey Hawkins, man. What are you worth in terms of a trade? Okay, wait, hold up. This is technically an upgrade, right? Dude, we just keep trading up until we can't anymore. Oh, also the nice thing about this is I kind of know some players, unlike everybody from like the 80s. All right, Leroy Person, who I don't actually think is a real person. You guys know how these draft classes work. Welcome to the team. We traded away our draft pick too. It's still like kind of protected, but that's one thing we're gonna have to do after this anyway. Wow, he's 5'10"? All right, definitely not a real person, right? All right, well, hey, we got an 85 on our team now and an 84. All right, we can get a very slight upgrade at the small forward position, Robert Horry for Charles Smith. I don't know why we didn't get anyone good for him earlier, but that's another trade. We got like 10 trades. This is the best we're gonna get. There's nothing more we can do after this before we just have to start playing. I mean, like at this point we're trading for bag ups, like what's really worth it, you know? Kind of iffy. Maybe I should just be that particular about like even all the backups. So this is what we have right now. Leroy Person, Derek Fisher, who's young. I don't know what he's gonna peak at. Only a B minus potential though. Eric Snow, also young. So we have a pretty young team. Obviously, Kobe at the two, and with him being 18, is actually going to really help with having a lot of opportunities to win championships. That was the one thing with MJ. Charles Smith at the three, so an 80 overall at every position now. Vin Baker at the four, and of course, Shaq at the five, which, I mean, like, let's just see what I could get for him. There's only one offer. Okay. I'm going to trade one of the backup power forwards for a backup small forward because we had none. And of course, our draft picks are useless if we're winning assuming we win, they should be useless. So we're gonna trade all of these boys away, which is just a game of predicting who's gonna do bad. This is the best we could do. And that's also all we could do. We gotta start playing. We are currently power ranked 
number 19 in the league. That's definitely not good. Also, our teammate chemistry is at zero. The first season sim is always like the most difficult. Remember, there's injuries. All right, let's go, man. We're winning. Oh my gosh, hold up. All right, we're starting pretty respectable. It's eight and one. All right, we're disabling CPU trade offers because they're usually horrible. Oh, and here's our first injury. CPU is adjusting that. I want to keep those on just to see what would happen. Dude, we went crazy with those trades to start the year, man. 20 and three. That is the best start to any of these I think we've had. Oh man, you know what? Severe right ankle sprain. We're just going to have to stop getting interrupted so much. I'm, I'm going to turn them off already. CPU will adjust the rotation, but if we start losing, we'll try to guess why. He's out for four to six weeks, and we're still winning pretty well. But also, obviously, other people in the league can get injured as well. It just adds a little bit more of a realistic element, you know, makes it a little bit harder. Just because you build a good team doesn't mean everything is going to go your way. Bro, this team is good. What? I'm actually so surprised. 38 and five. All right, are they going to respect us now? What are the power rankings at? Number one, look at this. Oh my gosh. Our teammate chemistry is at 100% because we're playing phenomenal. Kobe Bryant's actually still the fourth best player on the team, but Shaq is now at 95. This is a potentially championship team. Now, funny thing though, is like no matter how good you play in the regular season, they will legitimately just throw it all away in the playoffs. Like we've gotten like 80 and two before and we lost. I think that's happened multiple times. We are at the trade deadline. It's worth looking, but I don't think we're gonna get anyone good. Usually it doesn't actually work very well. Oh wait, here's one. Charles Smith for Grant Hill? We get a young Grant Hill? What? Hey, welcome to Los Angeles, my friend. Uh, our teammate chemistry dropped to only 97. That's crazy. That only did 3%. It's that good. Whoa, Grant Hill for Gary Payton. How good is Grant Hill gonna get? And he only has one year left on his contract. Man, we might just have to do that. It's like a three overall difference. It's the trade deadline. So I know that means we won't necessarily have a small forward, but I'm going to bet that we could get someone better. We made that bet before it worked out. So we have Gary Payton. Dude, look, this is the first season team with no draft, no free agency. Look at this lineup so far, man. This is looking good. We do have two like good point guards. I think one is definitely gonna have to go. All right, can we get a good small forward for Gary Payton? Oh man, I don't think we can. Did we gamble it? Did we like mess up Isaiah Ryder? Uh-oh, I think we messed up Loki. Maybe we shouldn't take that gamble in the future. I don't think that was like a massive mess up, but 7-7 seven, seven George Mearson. Oh man. I think we could just roll with this. I think we'll be fine. One thing that I just remembered that may come back to bite us is you cannot trade injured players. So if you really want to trade someone and he just so happens to get injured, it's over. Wow, Sam Perkins is 35 in this sim already. Remember last time we changed people's positions when there was like two good people at one, but I mean like you're gonna change it to a two guard and now it's conflicting with Kobe's development. Like I don't think that's worth it. I mean, we could shift Kobe down to small forward and then, you know what? Let's do that. Kobe, you're now a small forward shooting guard did he go up in overall and leroy person is now a two guard still an 87 but he's uh 510 so definitely undersized kobe's averaging 16 1 and 5 in his rookie season shaq 23 and 11 this is definitely a big what if of like okay what if shaq never left la but also like will it keep kobe bryant from getting individual achievements like all those mvps like everything i'm not sure i don't know if kobe's gonna be an all-star in this either Let's see. Nope, he was not an all-star in his rookie season. Of course, Shaq was. And Kobe only dropped eight points in the Rising Stars game. Nice. All right, we're still playing pretty good. Um, do we have to resign anybody? Oh, shoot. Well, oops. I pressed no. Hopefully, the answer was no. That might come back to bite us too. User error. I'm just really interested to see how this whole injury thing is gonna affect us this time. Oh wait, see, we just lost two in a row. Are we winning year one? Was that even a good trade? Cause I think we're playing worse now. I think we should still be number one though, right? Shaq with MVP, like I predicted. Allen Iverson, rookie of the year. And of course we're starting off by winning both these two. Shaq, all NBA first team. Yo, Kobe's like, I mean, he's a rookie, but nothing crazy. Oh, by the way, Michael Jordan obviously is still in the league killing it this is the last dance year kg is new in the league oh man <laughs> we know what he did 
beat up his wife. We have to say it every time we see him. But Kobe did make the all-rookie first team. Technically, he's the best rookie. AI's an 82, Kobe's an 86. We have Steve Nash also coming up as a rookie. I'm very impressed with our first season performance. I'm not gonna lie, we made some really good moves. I'm a bit concerned with that risky trade we did to try to trade up and we got Gary Payton. I think we started playing worse after that. So we might not do something like that in the future. Everyone's doing really well though in terms of their morale, which is helping. We're the number one. Boston is actually killing it which is really weird why like this team is what where are the bulls in real life the bulls were supposed to be the best team i don't know man we'll see but i mean they're number two seed all right it's time to sim through these playoffs we took the first game against sacramento i think this is just a sweep there you go obviously back then it was a five game series for the first round yeah i'm actually really concerned with this first season because the sim is so unpredictable not only with the games but also like the player development like is kobe gonna end up at a 99 is shaq gonna end up at a 99 too. Will we build an even better super team than we've ever built before? I'm not sure. Took three games. Is this going to be another sweep? Okay. I'm liking that. And Chicago got swept in the first round. I didn't even see that. Boston did too. Well, they didn't get swept, but they lost. What? Dude, this might actually be really good for us. I'm not going to like get too excited though. We're going up against Seattle in the conference finals. Who's on their team? Sean Kemp. Oh, he's injured. Yo, maybe it's because of the injuries. Ruse left heel. He can still play through that though. Wow, they have three injuries. Unfortunately, enough we have none it's funny though because like we could literally be in like game one of the finals and then like Shaq tears his ACL and not only do we lose that series but we lose them for the majority of the next year I like it though all right Seattle took their first game on us oh that's painful man that's painful come on come on let's come back let's come back let's go come on let's go we're in the finals first year baby we're going up against the heat with Alonzo Mourning Jamal Mashburn Tim Hardaway well this is actually a good team they have four people 85 or above but we have five just saying and we have Shaq on paper we're better but you never know dude this would be so nice if we won first year man this would be so different oh no oh okay 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 I like to see okay I like to see that I don't like to see that come on we're up three two this is it close it up close it up let's go first year we got this we got this boys Shaq with the finals MVP. Well, that's a crazy twist. Kobe wins in his first year, even though he's not even that good yet. And we're at one ring out of 24. I can't believe we did that without a draft. That's insane. Magic Johnson, Isaiah. What? He was only a 65? Wow. Well, he is retiring. Isaiah Thomas as well. Obviously in the Hall of Fame. Jerseys are retired. Decrease the shot clock to 20 seconds was ejected. That'd be funny though. That'd be a crazy fast game. All right, well, it's time for the draft lottery. All right, we have one pick this year, but we're not even projected to be in the lottery okay i guess the 76ers actually played well or well enough to not be in the lottery in real life they didn't so i bet on that especially because it's the first year everything's the same but that's what i'm saying these sims are unpredictable we got the 16th pick so with the staff signings you guys remember these actually matter i never did this until last video but we're gonna fire everybody look at this like this is unreasonable the assistant gm and then these two positions matter the most and like we need a better staff man this is unacceptable bro this guy can't do anything oh my gosh we definitely need a head coach. Look at this guy. Phil Jackson is a free agent. And obviously, in real life, he took over this team. He has five offers already. All right, um, can we like offer him? We can't offer him anymore. Hopefully, he actually potentially accepts. This guy's all right, too. Uh-oh, Phil Jackson is tentative. Oh, then declined? What? Oh, no. I oh, my gosh. I accidentally signed this guy. Wait, we got to fire him. Oops. I'm betting on Phil Jackson. Well, last time we bet on something, it did not work. Bro, Phil Jackson signed with someone else. No. Oh, here's Greg Popovich. Hold up. Can we get Pop at least? Blocked. This guy blocked me? What? <laughs> Blocking me is crazy. All right, I think we just had to get a horrible coach. That was a fail. Now, there's two people in this draft that I will try to get, and that is Tim Duncan or Tracy McGrady. We've never had Tim Duncan on one of our teams, but he's also definitely going to go number one, and I think the only person they'll trade for him is like Kobe or Shaq. We'll see, though. We'll see. Man, nothing for the first pick. We might just have to do that trade up thing, but who knows how far we go with that. Nothing for the second pick. You have to be in striking range. Here's the third pick for Derek Fisher and Leroy Peterson. Man, we can't trade somebody that good this early though. Dude, I don't think we can do it. All right, fourth. And then we start trading up. Cause like, we don't really have that many assets. Bro, everyone wants Leroy Peterson. You know what? Actually, we have too many point guards, technically. I think that's worth doing for number three. We don't even need him. And then hopefully 
we can get number two. This is another thing we're betting on that might just not work out, but we're gonna do it. Woo. All right, we can get number two. Let's do this. Will Indiana budge now? Woo! All right. See, that's the thing. Tracy McGrady is a two guard, so it kind of conflicts with Kobe, but we can do this. We got number one. Oh my gosh. I went into this draft with like zero expectations. What will people offer us for number one? I mean, there's no way it's anything better than Tim Duncan, right? Nope. So at this point, I think we're just going to trade away our 16th pick to the Knicks. And then with the first pick in the 1997 NBA draft, we're drafting arguably the best power forward of all time. We'll see where he ends up in the sim, but Tim Duncan. Man, Tim Duncan is really a Laker. That's crazy. Dude, we didn't even have any like crazy assets to trade up to number one. And we just got Tim Duncan. And uh, that is our draft. That's literally what we do. We trade up to number one and we get it and then we just leave. We don't care about anything else. Tracy McGrady will be on the Pacers though. I'll just keep that in mind. Of course, we're going to sign him. Uh, I don't care about this guy. Decline the player option. We'll extend Vin Baker's qualifying offer. Now, Michael Jordan is a free agent. Okay, who can we actually afford though? Gary Payton. Okay. I mean, if there's ever a time we'll actually be able to sign somebody, it will be now because our cap's just only going to get worse and worse and worse. All right, we'll only go for who's affordable. I Maybe mean, we can just trade them away after, to be honest. Here's Gary Payton. We'll do Derek Coleman and... I don't know, Larry Johnson. And Gary Payton will agree to come back. You know what? We'll take him over Derek Coleman. Kobe's up six overalls from last season to an 88. We're hosting All-Star Weekend, and it's time to advance to year two. Uh-oh. What happened to, like, Vin Baker and everyone else? What? What? What happened? So Kobe's 19 now. Obviously, he's still going to need some more years, but we're going to have to earn it. So if he wins 15 championships in his first 20 years, we will de-age him so he can win 24. If not, we're definitely screwed. I'm trying to figure out what happened to our team. I think it's low-key the re-signing thing, but I'm, I'm really not sure. At least we have Tim Duncan. This has never happened. Like, we've never just lost half of our team. I'm so confused. All right, well, I guess it's time to see who we can trade. Nobody wants Gary Payton. Oh, wait. Dude, everyone else is just screwed. Rubs. What? Dude, where did I mess up? I'm telling you guys, sometimes it's just user error. I can only pay attention to so much, especially when I'm doing this 24 times. I think we should be fine, right? I mean, Tim Duncan will get better. Kobe will get better. Gary Payton's good, right? Just trade these picks. Dude, I actually don't have the best feeling about this season. Vin Baker's on the Spurs. We traded Leroy. I mean, yeah, I guess whatever. Let's just see how we play. Okay, okay. Three and s what is this? Did someone get injured? No. Oh, he did. Kobe got injured. Wow. Ooh, ooh. This located left Patella four to six months dude i knew this was gonna come back to bite us and it was the second season four to six months is not something to joke about wow all right how are we gonna play without kobe all right well we're okay we're doing a little bit better that's very relieving 13 and 10 14 and 10 man i don't know wow all right so at least he's gonna come back for the playoffs that's the most important part our chemistry is also cruising at like low 70s all right here we go that's a little bit better oh okay well that was easy 100 our power rank is ninth oof our conference rank is second was that always there like did i just realize that was there especially last year all right well we're at the trade deadline 27 and 17 still the same rankings kobe's now healed wait what that was not four months what happened? November, December, January. That's three months. What? Did he just... What happened? I'm not complaining. We definitely should be playing better now, though. Okay, Tim Duncan's starting to develop a little bit. Those three are just untradeable. So it's the only person we could actually try to get out of here is like Gary Payton if someone wants to throw us a good asset, which, I mean, I guess this is good. Technically, it's an upgrade. Get Leroy back. John Stockton? I'm not going to do this because since he's so old, by the end of the season, he's probably just going to be 85 anyway. I guess we'll get a slightly better backup power forward though with Charles Oakley. Because Sam Perkins just keeps getting worse. Not that Charles Oakley isn't also old at this point too, but it looks like we can trade up a little bit getting Kurt Thomas. I technically, oh wait, what? Okay, we just have to fill the player spot. And then we can get a 79 overall backup point guard in Winston Garland. I mean, we don't really have backups at like any position. So we're gonna do that. Dude, we just keep slowly trading up the overall ladder. What we really need is like a good small forward, but... Oh, wait, what? Kevin Willis? Wait, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure Sam Perkins was like a 73 or 74 and we just kept flipping up and up and up. We're on 82 now. Oh, 83? Horace Grant? Somehow the chemistry is still at 94%. Well, maybe 
maybe it changes after. This is actually dope to me. He's like better than Tim Duncan now. Unfortunately though, I do think this is where it stops. Still valid. I don't think I should change his position. I think we should just leave it like this. That was a come up though. We'll take that. Actually, let me see if I can do anything similar with this PJ Brown guy. Get Scott Brooks, put Scott Brooks up. Ooh, that's a 77. There's a 77 too. And he's 24, sure. I don't care about that second round pick. There's no way we're gonna like flip this into something good, right? 78, okay. But that's a power forward. 79, Winston Garland again. Let's do that. Yo, I've never had this good of an experience just flipping people. There's some 80s creeping in here now i don't want to give up this clippers pick so we're gonna get scott skiles we're at an 80 oh my god and actually i forgot to do this we don't need to do it anymore kobe can go back to playing the two guard last thing i'm doing a slight position downgrade we'd need a small forward with kobe moving i think this is fair we don't care about our draft pick so i think this is worth doing we need to win now we didn't start off the season good and wow we actually made some really good moves at this trade deadline kobe did not make the sophomore rising star game probably just because he was injured for the majority of the season tim duncan made the rookies one he did the best out of everybody dude 62 percent attendance that's because of kobe man it has to be right this is also the first one of these videos where we're in the west tim duncan is an all-star this year but kobe isn't is kobe's legacy gonna be shadowed by tim duncan and shaq like is he gonna even win a single mvp there's a possibility he doesn't horace grant wants to test free agency so i I guess he can. Can't really resign him. We're playing a lot better now. I think partly because Tim Duncan's better. I think we made some good trades at the trade deadline. Maybe putting Kobe back at the two guard was like a W. But just him being back in general is the most important thing. All right, looks like we're going to finish at first in the West, but not first in the power rankings. Who's good? Actually, who's better than us? The Wizards? What? This is definitely not what happened in real life. What do they have? They probably signed a free agent, right? See, this is what already starts to happen with the league. Yeah, they got Chris Webber. All right, that's a respectable team right there. Shaq's definitely gonna win MVP. 25 and 12. Him Duncan with 16 and 11. We have the best big duel potentially of all time here. And then Kobe with just a twisted left knee. Yeah, yeah, not a big deal, but 22 points per game. He's really getting up there. I think he's still gonna shine really well because our backcourt is definitely weaker than our frontcourt. He's also shooting really well. 57%. Oh, wow. Chris Webber. Weber MVP. Those are some MVP numbers though. And they were power ranked ones. So respectable. That's a really good season. Tim Duncan, of course, rookie of the year. What, what else were you expecting? And they won exec of the year this year and coach of the year. Bro, is it because of that Kobe injury and our like really bad start? Shaq was all NBA first team. Nobody was all NBA second team actually, or third team. What? All defensive second team. We got two nominees, all rookie first team, obviously Tim Duncan. And we're back in the playoffs. I'm concerned about Washington. I will not lie but you could argue our record is a bit skewed because of that Kobe injury. No one's injured right now. Thankfully, Kobe's almost a 90. Like our team is definitely better this year than they were last year, I think, right? Or maybe not, actually. Ooh, this might be worse. I mean, we did technically play worse. I can't tell how much of that was the injury. All right, first game is good. Second game, they took from us. What is happening? What is this? There's no way, dude. This is an elimination game. Who's on the Nuggets? Antonio McDice, Kenny Anderson, who for some reason they just don't let us sign. Damn, this team is pretty good, but I mean, just not as good as us, right? <sighs> Man. The stakes are high. All right, well, we barely squeezed through the first round. Chicago didn't even make the playoffs this year. My guess is that Michael Jordan left the Bulls because remember he was a free agent. Yeah, he did. He went to the Trailblazers. So coming out of the West, you would think they would be good, but they didn't even make the playoffs either. Oh, dang, Washington swept the first round. Okay, come on, we got this first game. That's good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, dude, this is a concerning team. Oh my gosh, what is this? Who's on Dallas? Jason Kidd, oh my, bro, like, Sean Bradley, Mitch Rich, dude, this team is just not better on paper. I don't know what it is about the Sims. Your team can be better on paper and whatever RNG is just not gonna let you win. Oh my gosh, we took game five, okay. Oh my gosh, are we gonna come back 3-1? No, we won't. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was, that was, uh, that was humbling. Are you kidding me? Okay, the Celtics won. Who's on the Celtics? This is the team that won. They were good last year too. Dude, I don't know. Like, it's probably because I just lost people, but I don't know how I lost them. Was it because I like messed up with the re-signing? But I swear I looked at the re-signing earlier. I don't know what it was. Oh, dude, it might've been because of this too. Horace Grant got injured. Wow. But that's the thing with the injuries, man. That's the RNG. That's what makes it more challenging. And I honestly still think it makes it more fun. See, Sam Turkins retired. I'm glad we traded him. So we're still at one out of 24 rings. 
now we actually have the second most odds by 0.1% at the number one pick this year. You have Dirk in this draft, Paul Pierce, Vince Carter. I don't think Dirk really matters. Paul Pierce though, that could be a really, really good piece. So honestly, I'll take whatever we can get. Let's see. Oh, the fourth pick. I think we're gonna have to trade up, but we had a pretty good starting point. Oh, we need a new head coach. Man, that was probably why. Cause of the head coach thing. Cause I ended up getting like a horrible head coach. All right, it's draft time. I think Dirk's gonna go number one. Will Paul Pierce go number two? Do we need to get the number two pick? I think that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> Indiana again. Ooh, they don't want it. For the third? Well, see, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Wait, what? This makes no sense. They're just basically giving it to us. Yeah, man, sure. We gave you like a minimum player. That doesn't matter. All right, Indiana, I'm coming back to you. I don't really care about trading that Wizards pick away. So we got number two. Is there any point in getting number one? I think Dirk's gonna go number one, but like you just never no. I think there was a time where like Kevin Durant didn't go number one or something. All right, well, we can't get it anyway, so we'll just have to do with this. Oh my gosh, why? No, no. Oh wait, do you think we could like trade for Paul Pierce? Like you think the Hawks would just give him to us? Why? I mean, I'm bro, I'm fine with Dirk, but still that doesn't fit our team. We have like the best big man combo of all time. Can we ask them for Paul? We can't, man. But like, they'll do it for us. It's so weird, man. I mean, I'll, hey man, I'll take Dirk for now. Or Vince Carter. Do we want Vince Carter instead? Nah, we'll take Dirk. Yeah, let's take Dirk because we'll probably be able to trade him later. All right, well, I'm going to trade away my remaining picks. Sign our boy Dirk. Accept Kobe's team option. And only sign Jerome Hutchins back in free agency because we can't afford anyone else. I hope I don't just lose random players again. Like, oh, where, where did Shaq go, right? That would be crazy. Shaq has been staying at a 94, which is interesting because sometimes I swear I've seen him at like a 98, 99. Kobe's up three overalls to 91. Gary Payton is plateaued. Tim Duncan, 84. Horace Grant's declining and he's injured. So, dude, we're hosting All-Star Weekend again? It's time to start the next season though. We need to win this time. I hope that's the last time we don't win. Like, honestly, if we win 23 straight now, that would be amazing. Our team is like kind of the same as last year though, honestly. Mainly because of Horace Grant, but that's the thing with injuries. For all I know, that could have literally cost us the season. As always, we're gonna continue putting Gary Payton on the training block. I mean, he's a good asset, but like no one wants to give us anything good. Wait, do you think I should try to get Paul Pierce? Like, would they trade anybody for him? Cause it's early. Nope. Man, well, we're gonna keep Dirk for now, let him develop. He probably won't develop as well because we have a really good backcourt, but we're gonna need everything we can get. Dude, I don't think we're gonna be able to make any trades, low key. We definitely don't have a super team. We do have like a really good big three, but everyone's really young still. Like Kobe's 20. Just trade these picks away. Here we go. Wow, Horace Grant is the only injured person in the entire league right now. That is insane. All right, let's just start simming. Season three, going for ring number two, and hopefully starting a really, really big winning streak here. I'm very indifferent on if I should turn the injury notifications on because I like just actually simming and not getting an injury every two weeks. That's very minor. I wish you could see it like, okay, serious injury notification thing or whatever. We're starting so much better. We're first in both ranks, 25 and five. I mean, to be honest, look at the team. Gary Payton, Kobe Bryant, Young Dirk, Young Tim Duncan, and then of course Shaq. Like that should win, but the types of teams you have to build in these to guarantee that you win, or not even guarantee, but just have the odds be in your favor is like insane. And especially to do that like time and time again. Sheesh. All right, trade deadline time. I have a feeling we're not gonna make any trades. I need to get rid of Horace Grant to be honest, but no one wants to give me something good. Washed Chris Mullen. He's gonna decline just as much. There's no point. I guess we're keeping the band together. Who was actually an all-star? Kobe finally. Okay, Shaq. I think that's just it, right? Yep. Bro, what? Four points? Eight points? All right, whatever. It's crazy. Michael Jordan's still in the league in this because in real life, obviously he wasn't. And also like Magic Johnson and Kobe Bryant at one point were in the league at the same time in this. All right, who do we need to resign? Shaq. And he will resign you better. Will he take this? Yes, he will. And Horace Grant's testing free agency. Wait, again, I thought he was doing that last year. I don't know what happened. I just know we're eventually going to have another cap space issue. We're still first in everything, which is great. Kobe's averaging 25, four and six now. Shaq, 23 points per game. Tim Duncan, only 15, but you know, seems reasonable. Dirk getting his 16. That's crazy how he's averaging more than Tim Duncan. He's an 81 now. 
we'll take it. I can't put any of them at small forward either, so like it just won't make sense. But we're gonna finish this season a nice and modest 64 and 18. KG with the MVP. Wow, how good did the Timberwolves play? Vince Carter, rookie of the year, of course. Shaq, defensive player of the year. Okay, Shaq. See, Kobe has still yet to win an individual award. We did win these two, fortunately. Shaq, all NBA first team. Dude, like Kobe's not even going all NBA third team this year. I think that's just what happens, honestly. Dirk, of course, all rookie first team. All right, let's have no issues in these playoffs, right? I mean, dude, we're not like a super team. We've kind of just plateaued these first three years. I think we've played relatively the same. Actually, let me first make sure no one's injured. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh, they took a game. What? You know, we won three to one. That's nice. Next round up against the Spurs. Can we get a sweep in here? I think that would be nice, right? Okay. Three and oh. Four and oh, we swept. There we go. See, everything's different. Like, I wonder at what point we'll actually be a super team because that's what we're going to need to be at to be successful here. Washington lost in the first round again, dude. They just keep blowing it. One seed back to back years, losing it in the first round. So KG is on the Timberwolves. He won MVP this year. I think maybe Kobe would have won it, to be honest. He's at an A plus three pointer right now. Maybe he'll get to a 99, I hope. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's injured slightly. 94 though. KG's nasty. KG always does really good in these Sims. Stefan Marbury's on the team too. Michael Williams. I mean, dude, honestly, like our team isn't that good. We only have four like good players. And I think our four good players are better, but I'm a little bit concerned about this matchup. I will be honest. Ah, uh, we have like five like pretty good players. We have Dirk too, but he's too young. Come on, let's do this. First game we took. Second game we took. Oh, let's go. That's what we like to see. Oh, never mind. All right, well, there we go. In the finals against the 76ers with AI and injured David Robinson who will not be playing in these finals, which might actually be a blessing, but hey man, that's the injury story. They have three players injured actually. Jerry Stackhouse, okay. This is a good team. I would almost say this team is better than us. I'm not sure. Come on, I think we got this dude just because of that injury. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How did the 76ers even get this far? Did he just get injured? Let's go, man, a sweep. Hopefully this is a very big win streak. Will Kobe or Shaq win finals MVP? Let's see. Kobe with 31 a game. So he did win an individual achievement, which is good. Will he win MVP? I'm not sure. That's actually really good though. John Stockton is retiring. Hakeem and John Stockton in the Hall of Fame. All right, let's see where we are in this draft. It's just like a Hail Mary, I swear. Yeah, like I have no idea. We're not in this. Now the question is, would it even matter? No, I don't think it does. Like the best player in this draft could legitimately, arguably, be Manu Ginobili, who went like 57th or something. So I don't really care. We're going to skip the draft. I don't need to sign anybody, thankfully. I feel like this is the first draft, especially early on, that we've ever just completely skipped in any of these videos. I might be wrong, but we're going to sim through all of this. Obviously, like way, way, way later, it doesn't even matter. But of course, we're accepting Kobe's and Tim Duncan's team options. Nobody's getting a qualifying offer. It's so interesting. I feel like we just have like a few good players and everyone else is legit bums. Can we afford any free agents? I mean, actually, technically, yes. Wow. Okay, well, it looks like we can sign all three of these guys. They're like, okay players. I think they're really good bench players, especially for what we have right now. I think they're gonna be important. I think that was actually a really important free agency. I like how it just auto fills like the rest of the roster because I just don't care about like any more than seven players, at least right now. Yeah, Shaq's just kind of plateauing as you can see at a 94. It's weird how these Sims work, man. There's a lot of like just random stuff. Kobe's a 93. Imagine we host All-Star Weekend again. Oakland? Bro, who would wanna, what? you even all you guys that are from oakland i know you're like yeah i can't blame him <laughs> so we're at two out of 24 rings going for number three entering the 1999 2000 nba season our team is looking better and better as these young players are starting to develop we're not really making many moves off anything besides that this is like the third year in a row i try to trade gary payton but like no one seems to be budging but he's staying at an 85 look he just stayed there for like six years now i think we're just gonna dump our pick to the Trailblazers and of course the Pistons have the worst team like their best player is 80. Michael Jordan still holding it down 86 overall on the Blazers. They have not won. It's kind of funny because in real life Scotty went to the Blazers. Interestingly enough Kevin Garnett is the best player in the league right now. And the best player is only a 94. There's only seven players 90 or above right now. I don't think that's normal, but hey, that will change. I remember at one point we had like the three best players in the entire league in one of the Sims. So I know that Kobe injury was pretty bad. I know that Horace Grant injury could have cost us the championship last year, but I know somewhere in here, it's just going to be like a complete season ending injury. All right, pretty much identical start to this season to 25 and five. Like we're not really getting much better, but it's enough to win a championship.
At least every once in a while. When will be enough to win every year? I swear at that point you have to win like 70, maybe even 80 games a year. It's crazy. To have that like almost guaranteed chance of winning. And even then it's like just wild sometimes. Whoa, whoa, wait, why are we playing kind of bad now? Hold up, wait. See, look, it's just be an injury. No, it's not. What is it? Is this team just not good enough? I mean, we're still first in both, but like I definitely feel like we could do better. We're in the 21st century now though. January 20th, 2000. All right, trade deadline. No trades will be made. Kobe Shaq and Tim Duncan are all-stars. Is it possible to have five all-stars on one team? I want to see. That'd be crazy. You know what I just thought of? I've never actually like hopped in one of these games and just saw like what they look like, just simulating. I think maybe we'll do that. We'll see. All right, it's time to re-sign people. Oh wait, I guess we're not. <laughs> Dude, I think every season is like the same right now. All right, it looks like we're ending off the season on like a pretty good win streak. I think this will be our best season yet. Nope, never mind. Wait, actually 68 games? That's definitely good. It could be 69. Kobe's averaging 22. So like you can see everything kind of start to even out just with a better team. I wonder who will win MVP. I have a feeling it'll be Shaq, but we'll see. No injuries. Oh, Gary Payton is aggro. <laughs> Why? Like he's still a starting point guard, right? Still getting his minutes. Yeah. Bro, people just get mad for no reason. Maybe that's why nobody wanted him. He's a hothead. Chris Weber MVP again? Oh man, dude. The Wizards are just, they just don't do anything. They go number one and get eliminated every year. Why does it matter? Shaq won defensive player of the year though. That's like low key a bailout for like every good center in this game. You get so many more accolades. We did win both of these 69 to 13. Shaq all NBA first team. Dude, like Kobe's not even on here. Crazy, right? First round versus Dallas. I'm pretty confident right now. We had the best season we've had so far. Sweep. Okay, next up against Sacramento. Uh-oh, they took a game. All right, well, three to one. We're not gonna blow that, right? Let's go into the conference finals against Phoenix. Well, I guess it's like pretty good now. Steve Nash is starting to develop. Okay, this is an okay team. I can respect the team. Uh-oh, I guess not. Three to two. Three to three, what? Oh man. All right, you know what? Maybe it's time that we like jump in one of these. Oh wait, yeah, that was just, all right, we just completely blew them out. Nice. All right, well, we're in the finals against the Wizards, finally performing. I'm actually a little bit concerned about this team. We're also not like a super team yet. Well, depends on what you define a super team, but Chris Webber, still the MVP. This team isn't even that good on paper though, but you never know. Luckily, we only have one injury. Okay, Ricky Pierce, worn calf muscle. Yeah, you're definitely gonna be out for the season for that. Oof, all right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what is happening? What? We're going back to SimCast. There's no way. Imagine that I like a superstition that SimCast will make you win. Dude, this is an elimination game. Hey, we've came back from 3-0 before. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Now, before we attempt to come back down 3-0, I want to give a shout out to Game Blazers. Game Blazers is a free-to-play fantasy football game that's honestly taking fantasy football to a new level. By combining traditional fantasy football with like video game mechanics, it's awesome. You can start by entering free contests. They have some right here. We're entering the Hall of Fame League and it's time to draft. Of course, we're picking Mahomes. I'm gonna go Brees Hall, Kenneth Walker, Garrett Wilson, Justin Jefferson. Dude, we have a stacked team. Dawson Knox at tight end. And then we have two flex plays that we can use. I gotta pick a lion. And this will keep us right under the cap. And we're in. As you play, you can win XP, which unlocks a ton of different cool stuff. This is just like a battle pass. It's called the GB pass on here. You can also buy and sell players from the marketplace. So for example, we got Darren Waller. But the best part of Game Blazers is I can host my own contest that you guys can join and compete against each other. I think we have a good team, but we'll see if any of you guys have one better than mine. All you have to do is click the link in the description and join. I'll see you guys there. And again, thank you to Game Blazers for sponsoring. Game four. Oof, only by 11. Okay, okay. We're going back to SimCast, boys. I don't like this. This is close. Ooh, we're not gonna jump in and like play, but I just wanna jump in and see. All right, this is a more healthy lead. There we go, there we go. <sighs> okay, here we go. If we win this, we tie it up. Oh, I have a good feeling, I have a good feeling. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, dude, like this is how the Sims work. It's entertaining though, I like it. Still no injuries? Okay. They had no injuries either though. All right, come on, we got this. I think we're gonna jump in and watch the end of this, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. Look at the lead. Ooh, the lead's not too safe, low key. Hold up, I actually wanna see like these guys play too. Like this team we build, I wanna see them play. Oh man, dude, we only have a four point lead. Oh my gosh, dude, we might actually lose. All right, now nah, we're jumping in. Oof, this is bad. We're not gonna play, but I just wanna see what happens. Like in live time, I've never tried that. 
Oh man, we're not using the era filters though. But that would be cool to see. Gary Payton. Dude, I actually like this. We get to see our team at least once. Like get our, get to see the team we built play. Latrell Sprewell. Back out to Kobe. He's gonna pump fake for the mini. Gary Payton using the pick and roll. The mini from Gary Payton is off. What is this? All right, less than two minutes left. We're down one. Kobe with the off ball screen for three. Oh my, we, wow. We're down one. All right, 55 seconds left. This is for the championship. We're down one. Tim Duncan's gonna get blocked. Doesn't get the rebound. Chris Webber, who did steal the MVP from Kobe this year with Gary Payton on him, the glove. Oh my gosh. This is like actually a perfect game to watch too. It's very close. Oh no, oh no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, two. One. Bro, if only I was allowed to play it. Good defense, though. All right, come on. 25 seconds. This is for the champ. Oh, the lob to Shaq. Spreewell to Shaq. It's not Kobe to Shaq. All right, are they going to go for a game winner? They're running the clock down. This is for the championship, boys. Oh, no. Come on. Kobe, lock him up. Yes. Get him to pick up the dribble. They have eight seconds. Come on. No, 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 no. No. Timeout, we're down one for the championship. The fate is not in my hands. All right, come on, who are we giving it to? Where's Kobe? You're not giving it to Kobe? Dude, we have so many good people. Gary Payton, is Gary Payton gonna take the game winner? Oh my, we lost! No! No! Oh my gosh, dude, are you? Wait, what? Why is Gary Payton celebrating with them? What? What is this? Oh man, dude, now we have to watch other people win. Dude, we haven't even watched anybody win on our side. This is the same cutscene as my career, by the way, which we did beat in one video. We speed ran the entire thing becoming the go. That was crazy. Oh man, Chris Webber finals MVP too. He robbed it, man. He robbed us of MVP and finals MVP. That's frustrating. Gotta come back stronger, man. We got close. We barely even made it to the finals, but man. That's tough. Clyde Drexler has retired. Hey, MJ is still going strong. It does not look like we are in this draft lottery, but at the same time, like, I just don't care. There's nobody good in the 2000 draft class, but the upcoming ones are gonna be crazy. That's where we really start building the super teams. It's a little bit concerning though, cause like how much is our team actually improving? Like to go back to the finals. And we didn't even have any injuries, which was like the really concerning thing. Of course, we're accepting Tim Duncan and Dirk's team options. Chris Webber, oh man, declined his player option. Imagine we sign him in free agency. I'm really interested to see like, if we're ever gonna be able to really make some moves in free agency, like for the rest of the video. Of course, Kobe's qualifying offer is extended. I think once we get into the crazy salary caps, maybe that will work. Who can we afford? Mark Forbes. We can actually like kind of afford some like mid-level free agents. So might as well throw in some offers. We're matching Kobe Bryant's offer as a restricted free agent. And we can sign these three guys too, which is actually really cool. Shaq is really plateauing. Wow. Kobe's now a 94. Tim Duncan a 91. Dirk an 87. Wow. So he's progressing way better than I thought, even though he's coming off the bench. Gary Payton and all these other guys are starting to decline. Dude, we got to win this year. I'm serious. We're still going for ring number three of 24. Dude, we got another all-star hosting. That's so wild. I have a good feeling about the season. I actually do. Dirk being that much better is just a straight up W. Gary Payton, can someone please just take you? Oh, okay, wait. I think literally finally we've had a good offer. We get my boy Leroy back. Do people just want to trade him because he's 5'10"? Like that kind of makes sense, right? We can get this Ricky Thorpe guy, but I don't think the positions will line up very well. Welcome back to the team, Mr. Leroy. Loki, it's more painful to see you lose when you're right there and you just have no control. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make this trade. I don't care about the second rounder, but also Alan Forrest is younger. Then trade the guy we just got and that should just be it. Of course, let's trade our pick and get on with the simming. This is our redemption here, man. I feel it. Look, 16 to one to start, 17 and one, 18, 20 and one. I swear we usually start like 20 and five. You know, sometimes you just have a rough start, you know, especially cause we didn't start in the draft. Injuries have played this a little bit. Dude, look at this. Look at this. This is a championship team right here. At least for 2K standards. Low key, our team is pretty deep. Like we only have what, like four players we don't care about. Even though 79s and 80s, they do add up a bit. There's no trades we're gonna make at the trade deadline. Shaq, Kobe, and Tim Duncan again. 
in the all-star game when we're starting to come back to earth a little bit 57 and 3 but dude like night and day difference from the regular season for all i know like last regular season or maybe every regular season there was like a decent injury that caused whatever <laughs> wait was there just no re-signing deadline or there was no one for us to re-sign they never notified me so i assume not we will be taking the record for most wins in a single season the question is exactly how many kobe's averaging 23 see everyone's starting to level out you know what i mean i think kobe can win mvp this year though which is great see even dirk is getting up there in the points all right moment of truth we finished 75 and 7 tim duncan with the mvp wow bro why is tim duncan shooting threes why does he have a 33 three-point percentage i mean we did see it in the actual game i feel like the actual game exposes like whatever is actually just going wrong like why is that happening shaq defense player of the year we win both of these both Shaq and Tim Duncan, first team All-NBA. Dude, Kobe's getting robbed. He's not even in second or third. I feel like the rookies lately have just been really bad, like in this. All right, we're going up against Dallas in the first round. That's a sweep. Utah is next. See, I told you guys this was a redemption season. We're bulldozing our way through the second round up against Seattle, which I unfortunately tried to get their pick. They got Chris Webber. I probably should have paid attention. And they have Alonzo Mourning. So that pick's probably going to be useless. But that's also like two years from now. Who knows what's going to happen? Kobe is is about to be better than Shaq, which is really cool. He definitely has more badges than him. Shaq's just plateaued. I mean, that's the reality of it. Kobe keeps going up. It's weird like that jump from two to three, you know? No injuries. Things are looking good. Let's not take this to seven games like we did last year. Bro, look at this. This is what we want. We're in the finals against the Pacers? Hey, so remember, we traded for their number one pick not too long ago. Well, technically number two pick. We took Tim Duncan. They took Tracy McGrady. He's a 92 now, 21 years old. They always make him really good. They have Larry Johnson, Antoine Jameson, who's also from the draft. I remember when they drafted him too. I guess they just signed to Larry Johnson. They got a pretty good team, man, but we will be sweeping through them, right? Right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bro, there's no way. There's actually no way. Did someone get injured? Okay. I mean, that's not a big deal, right? Bro, should we just sim? You know what? We're just gonna straight up sim through it. Dude, that's crazy how we can go 75 and 7. This is where we get. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm playing with fire here. I'm playing with fire. Let's go. We came back three to one. Kobe will be the first person to do that, not LeBron. Wow. Woo! Dude, that's like crazy. That's crazy. Shaq with the finals MVP. I'm glad Kobe at least won it once, but that is ring number three of 24. Kevin McHale and Michael Jordan will retire. I'm glad he's getting out of there because we know what he did. Damn, man, they really put him in the Hall of Fame. Ugh. The NBA has created the G League. Oh, actually, back then it was the D League. We are not in this draft, but honestly, it doesn't matter too much. I think we should try to trade for the picks just to see what we can get because Gilbert Arenas is in this. And for some reason, he always does so good in the sim. That's the only person I really care about. I think Pau Gasol and uh, Tony Parker are in this, but it's Gilbert Arenas. That's what I care about. I swear in the LeBron sim, he was like a 99. Now, considering we're starting from 16 and we have to work our way all the way up, um, that's probably gonna be really difficult. Okay, we're taking a risk this year. We're gonna fire our head coach and try to sign Phil Jackson again. He rejected, bro, we just- And Greg Popovich blocked me too. Bro, I don't get it. Did they change something this year? Everyone's just blocking me. All right, well, I don't know what- Do we have a head coach? I don't know if we do. Whatever. All right, time to trade everything we have for the number one pick to try to get Gilbert Arenas. Watch him actually go number one too. No. You know how we do this, guys. We're starting from the bottom. Going for number five. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Kurt Thomas. I mean, is he like useful at all? Dude, I might just be throwing this. You know what? We're gonna risk it. Sometimes you gotta risk it. I'm gonna do this and I hope that we can at least get a top two pick. Worst case scenario, we get Tony Parker. We need a point guard. We don't need Pau Gasol. We don't need Tyson Chandler. We don't need Joe Johnson. I think we're gonna do this. So we work from 16 to five. Well, we still have 16, but okay. Let's see what I can get for both of these. All right, we're giving up a Clippers pick. Dude, I'm gonna go for it in this draft. All right, we're gonna get three. Oh, let's go, hold up. They want that Supersonics pick, even though they're good this year. And because we already have two power forwards and Dirk and Tim Duncan, I'm actually gonna do this and get Allen Houston as a pretty good backup. All right, we're going for number one. If not, we'll just go for whoever's left between Tony Parker and Gilman Arenas. Let's go. We worked our way up from 16. Now we did trade a pretty good player, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I guess we can just do this. All right, we got number one and we're going with the one and only Gilbert Arenas. Hold 
hopefully he's the point guard of our future. We're gonna have a good backcourt duo with Kobe, which we haven't really had yet. We haven't even had like a really good small forward. We had a Gary Payton, it was pretty good, but I feel like we can definitely do better. Um, we dumped so many draft picks, but I think that was worth it. What I'm thinking is we might dump Dirk next year to get LeBron. Imagine, we'll see. It's like, if you don't draft them, you're just not gonna get them, that's the thing. So it's worth dumping everything to get them. But dude, Gilbert Arenas could be as good as LeBron, we'll see. All right, well, we trade away the rest of our picks. I really hope this works out with Gilbert Arenas. I think he'll be really good. We definitely need a point guard, so. We're accepting Dirk's team option, dude, 88 overall already, that's crazy. We can technically sign like kind of decent people, like affordably. I'm just gonna let the assistant GM try to do it for me. Hopefully it works. It doesn't really matter too much, but Kobe is now better than Shaq. Shaq looks like he's gonna plateau to 94. Obviously a really good player, but I feel like if he was a 97, we would be winning more. All right, 2001, 2002 season. We're coming off a dub. The team is looking great. We'll see where Gilbert Arenas ends up at. We definitely have the best front court in NBA history. Shaq, Tim Duncan, and Dirk. I'd say this is a super team now, right? I kind of want Gilbert Arenas to take that starting point guard spot. Maybe he'll develop faster. We'll see. At this point, the starting salary of a rookie is $5 million a year. Wow. Our weakest position is small forward for sure. So uh, could definitely use LeBron, right? So to get Gilbert Arenas some more minutes, I'm going to trade Michael Williams for Glenn Robinson. Small forward is our weakest position. Not that he's like a starter or anything, but definitely an upgrade. We'll do a little two guard swap here because he's younger. Dump Latrell Sprewell. I don't think we need him. Dump our pick and start simulating. I'm so glad we won last year though. That was like a very important redemption year after two L's in a row. Swap the backup two guards out. This guy's younger, same overall. And re-sign our boy Shaq. I just wish he was a little bit better. I think this is the lowest I've ever seen him peak in terms of overall. Man, we lost to the Nuggets. We have three all-stars again. Dirk with a little minor injury here. And we're gonna finish this year on a nice win streak. We're 77 and four, so we might go 78 and four. Kobe averaging 23, five and 70 is getting better. Gilbert Arenas actually had a pretty good season too. Oh, he pinched a nerve in his back, nice. All right, will Kobe win MVP this season? We'll see. We won our last game, 78 and four. Tim Duncan with the MVP. Wow, dude, I swear, Bigs just have it easier when it comes to these awards. Dirk, sixth man of the year. Shaq, defensive player of the year. We won both of these. Like, look, Kobe's not even all-team NBA for anything. First round, I'm confident now. I'm confident now, man. Let's go, sweep. Seattle is next, sweep. All right, now, who is on the Clippers? Vince. Ooh, he's a 91 now, wow. Sharif, Elton Brand, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty okay team. I wish we had like another 90. Oh wait, well, Dirk's 90 now, I forgot. Yeah, we should be good. Wow, Dirk has an A plus three pointer. All right, we took the first game, took the second game. Dude, this was just pointless. In the finals, all right, come on. This is our winning streak against Atlanta. Chauncey Phillips is kind of injured, but we missed that on Paul Pierce, remember when they drafted him. Vin Baker, who we lost, Eddie Jones, oh wait. They have like three people. There's just no way we, there's no way, right? Let's go. Sweep, get them out of here. That's two in a row. And championship number four, Shaq with the finals MVP. Patrick Ewan and Scotty Pippen are out of the league now. Social media apps have replaced NBA.com as the main way to follow teams and stars. What social media apps were out in 2002? There was not even smartphones. So the first round is gonna be best of seven now. Hopefully that doesn't even matter at all. I wonder if these are actually things people proposed at the time, because some of them were, like the ones that got approved, but like these other, do they just like throw something random in there? I wanna know like, what were the weirdest things the NBA ever proposed? Okay, I don't know why I keep mixing this up. LeBron is in the next year. This is Yao Ming. Now with injuries on, he probably will just get injured. We're not in this draft at all, are we? Nope. All right, we'll just skip it. All right, got ourselves a, I guess, pretty mid head coach. I don't know why everyone just blocks us. Like, what am I doing? They had to have changed something. We're accepting Dirk's qualifying offer. There's no way we have any free agents this year, right? Eh, we can kind of not really afford anyone. All right, well, they'll take care of it. Kobe's a 96 now. Dude, Shaq hasn't like done anything. Shaq's a bit underwhelming, but this is what would happen if Kobe and Shaq stay together. Technically, he would only have two more years with us. I mean, there is a chance he just leaves, even in The Sims, so. Dirk's a 92 now, wow. Is he gonna be better than Tim Duncan? See, that's the thing with The Sims, it's so random. I was right about Gilbert Arenas, though. 84 already. All right, we are now in, I believe this is the Kobe era, right? Yes, sir. And later, we'll be in the LeBron era, because they added that this year. The Charlotte Bobcats 
have joined the league. Dude, the crazy thing is like, do I actually throw Dirk for LeBron now or Tim Duncan? Like I'll throw either at that point. Probably Tim Duncan, no? I've seen Tim Duncan at a 99 too, I think. Or train away our backup point guard for someone younger and at center because we don't really need a backup point guard that good. Let's dump our picks and start the C. Okay, we lost our first game. I feel like we're due, unfortunately. I'm not trying to like speak it into existence, but we're due for a career ending injury. Actually, who's actually got like a career ending injury in one of these? Or even in real life, like that's very rare but season ending injury. I think we're due for one of those. We're definitely starting off worse than last year. I'll say that. Okay, wait, this is actually not good. No injuries, what? Well, I mean, I guess all we can do is wait. We're not even number one in the West. Okay, now we are. All right, well, we definitely are not gonna end up as good as we did last season in terms of regular season record. We've already lost six games. Three all-stars again, this time Dirk instead of Tim Duncan. I don't know why it's like Tim Duncan's about to start playing in a shadow. Is he actually starting over him now? No, he's not. He's still a sixth man, sixth man all-star. Okay, Kobe will resign. That's very good. This guy will resign. Uh, I guess we'll keep him, right? We need these like kind of small pieces. He accepted. I guess Glenn Robinson is just just says none. We might lose him. We're playing way better now. That's for sure. That's good. Dude, when we were losing, I was scared because I was like, if we keep losing more, we're not gonna even hit the 15 championships in the first 20 years, and we won't be able to DH him. Like that would screw the entire challenge up so much. All right, dude, we just went on like an insane winning streak. Nice. It's like nice and day there's no injuries Dirk low-key gets injured a decent amount though and he's a sixth man he's playing less minutes than he should okay so Gilbert Arenas is playing really good now prediction on MVP I actually think it could be Kobe for the first time Tim Duncan like hi maybe because of the two blocks and still getting like four assists I kind of want it to just be Kobe though I think it's gonna be Tim Duncan just my gut what it's Tracy McGrady I told you guys he was gonna be nasty in this we're not even producing MVPs out here I guess Dirk six man of the year we did not win exactly executive of the year. I don't know why. We won coach of the year. Not a single all NBA first team player. So we're like evening out though, but that's literally what a super team in this game kind of does. Just sweep it through the first round. Oh, well we didn't sweep. They took a game. It's like you have to really sacrifice the individual player stats if you want a really good team. Like no one's really averaging more than like 20 a game. Kobe's having a really good career though. We swept through the second round, swept to the finals. We're against the Pacers again. Wow. It's literally just because of Tracy McGrady. He's a superstar. And going to the actual league, remember how there was like not that many players over 90? There's some more now. Was it just like a bad time of the league or what? I'm Kind of confused about that. I just want LeBron after this. Can we just sweep through the Pacers? That would be nice. Boom! There we go. 4 0 on the Pacers. That's championship number five of 24. Gilbert Arenas with the finals MVP. Dude, I told you guys he was gonna really thrive in the sim. Him and Tracy McGrady always do really well. I've seen Tracy McGrady also at a 99. I think that's like an advantage that we have too, is like the previous knowledge, you know? All right, moment of truth. Where are we in this draft lottery? I don't see our logo anywhere. That's not good. We need LeBron James. Yeah, I don't see us anywhere. <laughs> how are we gonna do this? All right, how are we gonna somehow pull this off? I think we just throw like Tim Duncan at somebody. Cause they don't really like put good or really good players into these trades as even an option, right? But I will do anything for LeBron. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, what? Oh, that oh wait, that's Kobe. Oh, that's Shaq. Oh, that's Dirk. Okay, hold up, we got Dirk. You know what? That's exactly what I was predicting is I would throw Dirk at them and they would give me LeBron. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Cause we don't need Dirk, we have Tim Duncan. Let's go! I'm gonna be greedy. Can we get pick number two? Well, they want pick number one, nope. All right, we're gonna draft pick number one and then see if we can get pick number two. Let's go, LeBron Raymond James. Again, getting picked up on one of my teams. Wow, that's great. We're building a super team now. We're building potentially the best team we've ever built. That's kind of the goal of one of these. Teams that go 82 and 0. All right, I'm gonna be greedy. Oh, hold up. What? I don't even care about this guy. We have Shaq. Oh my gosh, let's go. They're probably gonna choose Dwayne Wade. Yep, but we can get Carmelo! Oh my gosh, dude. We're going crazy now. Let's go. Let's go. We got pick number one and number three. That's better than just getting number one and quitting. We stand there a little bit longer. We did lose Dirk. 
So it's a short-term loss, a small short-term loss, I'd say, but that's worth it. I wanna see how well Dirk does without us. Actually never not came off the bench. Of course, we're signing both of these guys. 84 and 82 off the bat. We're gonna accept Gilbert Arena's team option. Dude, I forgot we had him too. See, that's what we want. We want players that we forget we have that are actually really good. Dang, everyone is just declining. I'm assuming nothing in free agency again. Wait, oh, we can re-sign Glenn Robinson. All right, well, might as well, right? And he wants to sign. That's a good piece to have. Tim Duncan's going down? What? Maybe it's just bad luck, or maybe we're actually building the best team of all time right now because, like, not all time in terms of, like, record. We've already done that, but the best team that's ever been built on this game of all time. Gilbert Arenas is an 88 now. I was gonna say, I think the reason these guys are kind of getting stunted in their development is because we have so many stars. But we're gonna see where this next year lands us with still some really young players. This is supposed to be Shaq's last year. I don't think it will be. I think we'll end up keeping him. Kobe's still 24. Wow. But it's now the 03 04 season going for ring number six. We're not doing any player trades, just dumping the good old pick. This time to the Celtics. Man, it's the best we're gonna get. Let's sim. Uh oh, we're starting off undefeated. That's the LeBron effect. Actually, I'm curious. Remember like they had Carmelo starting over LeBron? I assume that's not the case. All right, that's good. I mean, you can always like change a position. This is a really good lineup though. Gilbert Arenas, Kobe, LeBron, Tim Duncan, Shaq, Carmelo. We'll get it better. We can get it better than this. I think we can. The question is, will we go 82 and 0? I always forget how crazy of a challenge this is. Like. We're still on number six. Man, we lost. We'll get him next time. Wow, to the Bulls, actually. Four All-Stars. Let's go. Gilbert Arenas has snuck in there. Obviously, Dirk's not in there. He's not on the team. I don't think I've ever seen five. Man, we lost another game. Boo. It's time to re-sign Tim Duncan. He's going to be our only re-sign. We're 76 and five right now. Kobe and Gilbert Arenas carrying that backcourt. I'm going to guess no one's winning MVP on our team this year, even though we're super good. I just think none of these are technically MVP numbers. Kobe's unfortunately injured though for four to six weeks. He pulled a lower back muscle. So he'll be back sometime in the playoffs. <laughs> Dude, look at how much better we are than everyone else, or at least in the West. All right, yeah, 77 and five. Oh, Gilbert Arenas MVP. Dude, Kobe has yet to win an MVP. It's so weird. See, we've made a fair share of bets in this video, but Gilbert Arenas was definitely a good one. He's the only person going all NBA on our whole roster. All right, first round, let's get them out of here. Second round, let's get them out of here. Minnesota with KG and AI, everyone else, doesn't matter. It's an interesting duo. Uh, they took a game on us. Respectable. Wow, the Wizards are really just a consistent contender. They got Steve Nash now. Unfortunately, they have a couple of injuries. What do they really have? I don't know. How are they in the finals? Now, before we go for this sixth ring to match Michael Jordan, I want to give a quick shout out to Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch has a new bundle out now. It's called Buy 3, Get 3. It's actually a really good deal. If you're not familiar with Dr. Squatch, they make really good high quality soap bars and they honestly smell really good. I have six of them here, as you guys can see. I definitely say my favorite is the cool fresh aloe. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Honestly, you can just tell the quality here is good. I mean, like, look at the texture. Now, the buy three, get three bundles for new customers. And of course, you get three free bars of soap, which saves you a lot. Also, it allows you to try, like, all the different flavors to see which one you like the best. Like, the deal comes out to, like, $4 a bar, especially for the quality here. And I, I can't show you guys how they smell through the camera, but they smell good. I would definitely recommend getting it. It's also a good gift, too. So, hey, take advantage of the deal Dr. Squatch is putting on right now. The link is down below in the description. And again, thank you to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring. I'm confident enough. Sweep, that's ring number six. Wait, what? You can win finals MVP if you lost? Wait, so it's actually possible, what? I mean, those are some very, very good numbers. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, they got swept. Like, I don't think that's good. I don't think that's right. I didn't know that, wow. So I was like, wait, did we lose? And we won, you can see. But that's ring number six for Kobe, tying him up with MJ, but passing himself. So in real life, Shaq would leave right now. I mean, they don't have six rings, but this is the year Shaq leaves. Obviously, it will not be happening. What? Oh my gosh. See, this just randomly happens sometimes because I try on these pick dumpings when we trade picks. It'll usually not pay off for like three years, but we have the number one odds at the number one pick. This would get us Dwight Howard, which is interestingly enough, the Magic are the runner ups here, but I mean, that would be a good replacement for Shaq. All right, well, we got the fifth pick. Um, I mean, we could try to trade up. I think it's worth trying. There is an expansion draft for the Bobcats. I have to protect players. So he's gonna protect all these guys. It just didn't matter. I mean, that's a pretty bad team there. <laughs> There's another John Wall, what? I was like, Jay Wall? 
know, at this point, John Wall was definitely not even close to being in the NBA. Tim Duncan for Dwight Howard. I'm not going to do it. Shaq for Dwight Howard. Not going to do it. They just want Glenn Robinson. Hold up. Okay, we're making some moves. Glenn Robinson here. I mean, he doesn't matter. We have Carmelo and LeBron, so let's trade him. I've been actually trying to trade him for a while. We're at number three. Can we trade up from here? It's so funny. Everyone has like so many more draft picks than us. This is just us. We have three. Oh, wait, we have the third and the fifth pick. Oh, yeah, we didn't even trade the fifth pick. Okay, that should make it easier to get number one, right? No. Nope. Oh, hold up. We trade pick three. We trade it. Yeah, sure. All right, now can we trade up? I want Dwight Howard. Uh-oh. Two and five for one in this 80 overall. That's 32 years old. We have to add a trade exception, but it's fine. Let's go. Number one pick back to back years. We're getting Dwight Howard. You know what we got to do. Just sim to the end. Get out of there. Devin Harris went number two. What? We're accepting Gilbert Arena's team option. Wow. Dude, these guys are getting up in overall we're gonna see no free agency nothing we can do there Shaq starting to go down it's a good thing we got dwight howard he's starting at a 79 18 years old he got drafted out of high school carmelo's up for lebron's up for gilbert arenas is up two so he's about to be better than tim duncan it's interesting like how these guys are peaking they're putting up mvp numbers but they're not really passing 95 don't get me wrong excellent pickup another year hosting all-star weekend and that puts us in the 0405 season going for ring number seven passing mj see we're at the point where these like mid-tier players are starting to just kind of get out of there it's like the only one we have is this marcus mitchell guy now everyone else is like they're gonna be good or they're like minimum <laughs> like this which i like it also makes it easier to just run the team we will now trade the picks away and start having some fun, man. Ah, took our first L, man. 25 and one to start. I just actually saw that. Four all-stars again. Okay, nice. We're just moving through the season. 46 and four. It's crazy how he's five stars and Kobe's only four. You better say yes. All right, let's go. I wonder what's gonna take us to the next level. Cause obviously we've gotten to the point where we'll go 80 and two, like most seasons. And that's honestly the point you have to be at to win every single year. Like pretty much guaranteed maybe it will just take some time i'm not sure but we're cruising at like the 77 and 5 mark right now which has done well for us but we're just one injury away from you know a big problem i wonder if in real life you're not allowed to trade injured players i feel like that's just not true maybe it's just in this game because it's like you just like game the system oh we're losing a little bit uh oh hold up not a single person even kobe so far off is averaging more than 20 points per game so oh gilbert arenas okay kevin garnett defensive player of the year we got both of these dude Dude, will we get another finals MVP that the loser gets? Shaq is the only other person going all NBA. It was the third team. All right, come on. We're confident now, man. First round is a sweep. Second round is a sweep. Oh, never mind. I feel like that happens a lot. Minnesota with KG. Oh, we swept right through them. The Bulls are back in a contending spot. Antonio McDice, Tyson. Bro, I don't respect this team at all. Get them out of here. They took a game. It doesn't matter. That's ring number seven. We passed MJ. But that is just the start. This challenge is going to keep getting way harder. Gilbert Arenas is just racking these accolades up. Hey, at least it wasn't like a loser. Not that Steve Nash is a, like a loser, but he lost. So I wonder what the odds of that happening are in this game. That's probably really rare. David Robinson in the Hall of Fame. Hey, man, I guess this is what happens if you keep Shaq on the team. <laughs> keep winning. Do we have any picks this year? I don't think we do. I don't think we're in this draft at all. Nope. We traded our pick. I mean, it would have been the 30th pick anyway. So, I mean, Chris Paul is in this draft but we have Gilbert Arenas it doesn't matter I do think it helps with the trades like the charisma stat I'd like to think so because it does take a long time to do this because everyone is just like blocking me or whatever all right well we got somebody we're skipping the draft accepting both LeBron and Carmelo's team options Gilbert Arenas qualifying offer extension and we can't sign any free agents so we're skipping that too now cap space will eventually become a problem as our team gets better we're just not going to be able to resign people even as the cap keeps going up players will just ask for more and it's going to become an issue at some point the question is when kobe actually went down in overall but lebron went up four shaq is at a 91 dwight howard only went up three i mean like hey that's all right we're chilling we have a really good team but it's like weird this time no one's built into like an insane superstar if that makes sense well somebody will eventually maybe it's lebron we'll see there's still a lot that can unfold cleveland for the all-star break now that picture makes cleveland look way better than it actually is hey i would say the same thing about detroit too and that's where i'm from the nice thing about this team is like i just have no reason to trade anyone i just know everyone's gonna be good and no one's gonna give me something good for anybody all right the bobcats are willing to give up their pick i know they're terrible so we're dumping the pick giving it to the bobcats 
and starting the season. Damn, we lost early. <laughs> now it's on the quest for 82 and 0. But low key, I already know what's gonna happen. One of these seasons is gonna be like a big scare in the playoffs, and we might actually lose, no matter how good the regular season is. Dude, the sim just keeps getting slower and slower and slower. Low key, it's because I'm on Xbox for this video. Xbox is just slower than PlayStation for at least this. The interesting thing with these videos is you have to do so much work up front, and then eventually it starts getting a little bit easier and a little bit easier. But then there's always like unexpected things that come up. We're a healthy team right now, which is great. Kobe is not an all-star this year. I swear the star of the video always ends up getting outshined. Shaq, LeBron, and Gilbert Arenas are doing well with it. Actually, Gilbert Arenas might get injured. We'll see. I think it's just a safe bet that he does really good in The Sims. Wow, only three losses this year. It's time to re-sign. Wait, what? Extension none? Uh, I don't know what's going on here, man. Wow, is Tim Duncan gonna peak at a 92? I mean, we'll obviously resign him, but like, I thought that was like such a good pickup. I've seen all of these guys at a way higher overall, like pretty regularly. I remember Tim Duncan was a 99 in one of these. Bro, the Utah Jazz need to change their name. I've just thought of that. Some of the names make no sense. Well, technically the Lakers don't make sense. That was from Minnesota, because Minnesota has so many lakes. Most names make a lot of sense, but I don't know what, what the deal is. I wonder what like the expansion teams are gonna be called, Seattle and Las Vegas, that's confirmed now. Dang, five games in one week to end the season. I'm gonna guess Gilbert Arenas MVP and nobody averaging more than 20 points per game. Oh wait, no, Gilbert Arenas. Dude, he's like outshining everybody. It's crazy. Like he always does so good. And it's like not even just a 2K23 thing. It's everything. Oh, LeBron MVP, wow. Carmelo sixth man of the year, that makes sense. Both of these two, 79 and three. We did great. LeBron is the only person on our team going all NBA. Okay, never mind. Gilbert Arena's all NBA third team. We got some good defense though. Still the best front court in NBA history. All right, we got this guys. Round one, they took a game. I feel like it's just random when they take games, but that's also what's scary. Round two is a sweep. Round three is a sweep. The Heat have Tony Parker, Amari Stoudemire, and Dwayne Wade, but we're just getting better every season. Sweep, get them out of here, man. That's ring number eight. Let's get right. It's actually so crazy to think that Bill Russell has 11. <laughs> LeBron with the finals MVP. I don't know why they always make people shoot so well from the three point line. Who is going to be the star of the team now? It could actually be so many people. It could be Dwight Howard for all we know. No, I don't know if we're in this draft. I don't think I care about it. Nope, we're not. That's good because the best players like Lamar Saldridge, Rajan Rondo. Back to trying to hire Phil Jackson. He blocked. Like what? what doing wrong this is a new thing this year wow the cpu wanted me to decline dwight howard's team option i don't know why i would do that we're accepting all three and we actually can sign a free agent or the only one worth trying for is desmond mason so just throw him a contract he agreed and he's on the team now kobe is going down in overall to 94 with lebron up to 94 Four. Well, here it says 95. I don't know what's going on. That is actually crazy. Hopefully he doesn't start declining. I mean, dude, look how many more years he has in him. And that's without de-aging him. Shaq's down to an 89. So Dwight Howard looks like he's going to catch him soon. But also Shaq's 34 now. So here's a look at our team going into the 06, 07 season. Gilbert Arenas at the one. Um, two bad backups. Kobe at the two with two uh, also pretty bad backups. LeBron and Carmelo at the three. And it's a good Good to have a deep three position because they can just kind of be interchanged. Tim Duncan at the four, no backups. And Shaq at the five with Dwight Howard. This is what the rotations are looking like. So nobody's playing like an absurd amount of minutes. It's interesting though, like no one's really became like an insane level of superstar, like 97. I want to see that. But this here is for ring number nine. No trades to start the season, only dumping the draft pick. All right, this time we're dumping our pick to the Pistons. Will we go 82 and 0 at some point in this video? Oh, well, that answered our question. Like I keep saying, I'm just waiting for one of those season ending injuries that could potentially plague us. We're not that deep in terms of like, we can afford for Gilbert Arenas to get injured, for example. We don't have a good backup point guard for him if that were to happen. And he's probably the most injury point on the team. It looks like that first loss though was just an anomaly. Dang, we're profiting 400 million. I've always wanted to get to a billion in profit. This might be the video we do it. Oh, we just lost two out of three games. Trade deadline just stopping again, just in case, but dude, like, oh, Tim Duncan's injured. Yeah, not too bad. I'm not willing to trade any of these guys. And I know no one's even going to give us a good offer anyway. So it's literally just like these mid-tier players, not the minimums, but not the untouchables that I will trade. And it's nice now because we only usually have like 
one or two of them and maybe we'll get down to zero so there will just be like no reason to ever try to trade actually i mean like we might ah nah he's getting old sean bradley's getting old if it ain't broke don't fix it i think we're fine i don't think we need to trade him kobe bryant will resign it's time to resign him to a 16 million dollar salary i wonder how much he's gonna get in career earnings for playing way more than any NBA player would. And it looks like Kevin Garnett is the best player in the NBA right now, followed by both LeBron and Kobe. Wow, LeBron got really good, like really quickly, like two, three years. Dude, and we have Melo, he's a 93 now. I wanted to check on Dirk, he's doing good at 92. Definitely better than Tim Duncan at this point, even though Tim Duncan's only 30. And in real life, I mean, he was good for a very long time. Will we have five All-Stars? Oh my gosh, we have five All-Stars. Let's go! Bro, has that ever happened? Dude, I keep checking every year just to see. Kobe, LeBron, Gilbert Arenas, Carmelo, and Shaq. Like, literally our starting five. Well, actually, no, Tim Duncan's not in here, but he's injured. I assume that's our starting five right now because he's injured. Yeah. Wow, we got five All-Stars. Has that ever happened? That's dope. The question is, is it possible to go 82-0 in this game? Last year, it was. Dude, we're on a fat winning streak. 79-3 and maybe this year? Oh, my dude. Okay, we finished 78 and four. LeBron with the MVP. He's actually putting up really good numbers for how many superstars we have on this team. Wow, no one on our team won six man of the year. That's kind of weird. We won both of these. LeBron, first team all NBA, but no one else on our team will. I mean, I think that's kind of the routine at this point. The MVP is usually on our team. He wins it and no one else goes all NBA. This is what everybody was averaging though. I mean, everyone's contributing, right? It's cool. We're averaging 127 points per game though as a team. First round against the Suns, I have no doubt in my mind that we're gonna lose. Yep. All right, second versus Denver. Okay, that's a sweep against Minnesota in the conference finals. They took a game, but we're against the Celtics now. The Lakers in the Celtics once again in the finals because they have Dirk and Steve Nash. Okay, and Pau Gasol, the best three white players. Wait, that actually might be the best three white players right now. That's a trio though, for sure. But also, I mean, look at us, right? You have 690 overalls. Shaq might be going down though. Actually, well, let me see what Shaq averaged this year. Like, where is he at? You gotta see where all our players are. Shaq, 14 points, seven rebounds. I mean, he's getting his assists in. Dwight Howard, you could argue, is like doing the same as him though. Shaq is still starting though. But see, look, a starter getting 25 minutes a game, that's how deep our team is. I wonder if I just adjusted those for us to play more, if we would win more. Like, maybe we should do that like towards the end of the video and actually go for an 82 and 0 season because they should play so much. But then we might get injured. So that might come back to bite us. There's a sweep in the finals, making it ring number nine. LeBron with the finals MVP. Sean Kemp and Steve Smith are out of the league. Are we in this draft? Nope. Does that matter? Um, We could get Kevin Durant. It's funny because the Supersonics also have the number one pick in this sim as well. Okay, they had the number one odds. The Trailblazers got the number one pick, which is actually what happened in real life too. It's so weird. That's like, we've, we've simmed over 10 years and it's still pretty close in terms of the landscape. We don't need any staff signing. You know what? We're going to skip to the draft and just see if we can get Kevin Durant. The question is who would we be willing to give up? And there's actually a chance he won't go number one, but I don't want to take that chance. Okay, we have the 26th pick, which I don't care about. You know how we do this. Oh my gosh. For Gilbert Arenas? Nah. Position conflict. For Shaq? Wait, is it time to trade Shaq? Man. We have Dwight Howard, but also we have two other small forwards. Shaq's 35 though. Like, I feel like we kind of should just get rid of him now. You know what? I think this is not a bad idea. I think we should dump Shaq, get Kevin Durant, which is actually crazy to talk about. I mean, Shaq's gonna be 36 soon. He's gonna decline. We'll see what he ends up being. Ah, I think this is worth it, man. I think this is worth it, man. Shaq, you've done great for our team and championships because he wanted the sim before this. But I think your time has come. You could stay on here for longer, but for all I know, Shaq could retire in two years. This doesn't look the best, but we're gonna do it, man. We gotta make things brighter for the future. So you know what we do, man. First pick and dip. Welcome to Los Angeles, Kevin Durant. Bro, the team is actually becoming a legit threat. Super team, like for sure super team status, but I mean, what's past the super team? Of course we're gonna sign him. I almost pressed decline, oops. We're accepting Dwight Howard's team option, accepting the qualifying offers. There's no way we can do any free agents this year, right? Who's affordable? Yeah, no one's affordable. We're gonna sim through that to see the player progression. I actually wanna see across the league what happened. I've never actually looked at other teams 
LeBron is up one to a 95, so he's now better than Kobe. Carmelo's up one. Dwight Howard's up one. I think he's going to go up even more because he's still only 21, but he's going to get way more playing time with Shaq not being on the team. Kevin Durant starting the league at 18 years old at an 81 overall. Hey, man, Yao Ming hasn't got injured yet. That's good. We actually never look around the league at this. I think we should. KG went up one again from 30 to 31 years old. What? That's crazy. Like, he's not even peaked yet. Like, this is his peak. Shaq went down too. See, I was right. He's only an 87 now. I think that was the right decision. He went to the Portland Trailblazers because of that trade. And they have a decent team, but I think we made the right call. You got to start dumping the players once they, like, go down like that. He was getting old. But that's crazy, man. That's what would have happened if Shaq and Kobe stayed together. So many more rings. Shaq is like a once in a generation player, so makes sense. We're going for ring number 10. The 07 08 season is here. We have one mid tier player again in Ricky Davis. I think the CPU just signs like random free agents. Or actually, maybe got him in a trade. I don't even remember. We don't really need him. We could use a better backup center, though. Wow, we have a 31 year old Jason Williams, but why does he look like that? <laughs> See, we don't need another small forward, but I think because we got rid of Shaq. We could use an upgrade to a backup center. Two overalls higher. I think I'm going to do this. We're going to trade our pick away. Let's look at our rotation because we're deep. This is our starting five. Carmelo at sixth man. Kevin Durant at the seventh man. And then we don't really care about anyone else. I mean, this guy's an 81. Bro, we lost the second game. Wait, what? Dude, we started the season two and two. Did anyone get injured? No way, right? Maybe because the chemistry was down. I mean, it's at 77, but it's going to go back up once you start winning. See, look. Look how fast. Bro, the sim is getting so slow. It's been stuck here for like a minute. What is happening? Oh, finally. I think the reason we lost two of our first four is just the chemistry. Because we made like one trade and it was not 100. All right, trade deadline. Dude, we won like 38 in a row. Five all-stars again. Dude, see, I'm saying... One of these could just happen. Kevin Garnett is out for the season. But yeah, we definitely broke the record for like longest win streak. I just don't know if we can see the records anywhere. I feel like I'm getting better and better at my league, just playing all of these seasons. It's definitely a cool experience, but the challenges are getting harder and harder. Oh, we lost again to the Rockets. All right, it's time to re-sign people. This guy's testing free agency. I don't care. He's like the one player we don't care about and he's not a scrub, but Gilbert Arenas wants a contract extension. Uh. Uh, dude, there's no way we're running into a cap problem this early, no? What? And it doesn't show me like the hard cap. Like how much can I pay him? Oh my gosh, dude. If I remember this correctly, the way it works is you actually negotiate the next contract a year before you'll actually have to resign them. So as long as we have enough cap next year, we can. And I might just not resign him right now. And like making it two years is not gonna make a difference. Dude, there's no difference. What? Wow, LeBron James is a 97 now. We're just gonna have to keep on simulating. All right, LeBron MVP, Kevin Durant, Rookie of the Year. Well, that's actually pretty good that he got that, considering that he's like the eighth man on our team. Like, when has the Rookie of the Year ever been an eighth man? Of course, both of these went 77 and 5. We did have two All-NBA first team. I think that's literally because of Kevin Garnett getting injured. All right, are we going to just bulldoze through these playoffs? I have a feeling we will. Yep, first round is a sweep. Second round, sweep. Third round, the Trailblazers with Shaq. Hey, they did meet us in the Western Conference Finals. So that could have came back to bite us, especially if we had like a bad injury or anything. But everyone seems fine, except for this guy. <laughs> Bro, you don't even play. Why are you getting injured? The Hawks have Sean Marion, Chris Bosh, JR Smith. Okay, like, I think we're gonna just win. Oh, they took a game, but we won. And that's number 10 for Kobe Bryant Gilbert Arenas with the finals MVP. Manute Bull is retiring. I wonder how many more years Shaq has, but dude, he won 10 rings. Now, before we go for ring number 11 and try to tie Bill Russell for the most ever rings won by a player, I gotta give a huge thank you to Sennheiser. They sent me the new Ambio Soundbar Mini and Subwoofer, and it was a massive upgrade to the downstairs setup. I don't really show you guys it much, but I was literally using the TV speakers. It's super immersive, like it's really good for movies, video games, Sports. It's super easy to set up as well. You just download the app and it'll calibrate to whatever room you have to set up in. <laughs> and once that's done, it'll literally sound like sound is coming from everywhere, which I don't really get because there's literally just a sound bar and a subwoofer. But hey, there's a good chance you're watching this on a TV right now. I guarantee you could upgrade your setup. Even if you just have a TV in your room, like it can calibrate to whatever room you have. It's super simple, which I really like. And it's good for music too. You can stream from Spotify, Apple Music. Just a massive upgrade. Like I'm super impressed. Like I said, really easy setup. And you guys should go check it out. The link is in the description. Highly recommend for the TV setup. And again, big thank you to Sennheiser.
for sponsoring. Phil Jackson is retiring too, so he's gonna stop blocking us when we try to get him to be our coach. Vin Baker is retired, he's in the Hall of Fame now. The Sonics are now the Thunder. We're not in this draft. If we were, we might have been able to get Derrick Rose. I mean, the injuries are on. Let's extend the qualifying offer of Dwight Howard. No, there's no way we can afford any free agents. Oh, well, we can afford this guy. Should we just re-sign him? I mean, like, why not, right? Hopefully that does not prevent me from signing Gilbert Arenas, but he'll be a good piece. KD is an 85 now, Dwight Howard an 86. So that's a good starting center. I want him to get a lot higher though. Zach Kelly actually went up. Kobe staying the same. LeBron's a 96 and Tim Duncan is starting to decline. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Another all-star host. And it's time for ring, or at least going for ring number 11. Our teammate chemistry is not that good. 63% after winning a championship? What is wrong here? On top of that, we're actually power ranked second. So I want to see what is happening here. What? Charlotte is like, no, who's on Charlotte? This is crazy. They were just like horrible not too long ago. But I do remember losing to them last year. And I'm pretty sure we had one of their draft picks though. So that was a definitely a bad bet for me to make on my part. Great. Chris Paul, Luol Deng, Wame Brown. Why is this team power ranked higher? Dude, it's like there's something in the sim that's rigged against these super teams that I build. Not a single person would think this team is better than this team. You know what I mean? You know what I'm gonna do though? So now that Tim Duncan is a 90, I'm gonna make him the sixth man. Carmelo is definitely better than him. <laughs> Yo, I can put LeBron in the G League, oh my gosh. But yeah, Carl Anthony, you're now gonna be a power forward, small forward. Oh, he dipped down a little bit in overall, but he's still better than Tim Duncan and he's younger. So I think it's worth it. We'll see where they put the lineups after that. But in terms of trades to start off the year, it's funny, I keep signing this guy and then keep putting him on a trade block, but he never gets traded. We signed him to a four-year contract? What? Yeah, nobody wants to offer someone good. Well, we have the Bobcats pick this year. Let's uh try to trade that away now that they're number one in the power rankings. All right, we're giving this to the Cavs. And our own pick we're going to dump to the Raptors. All right, watch how quickly we go to number one power ranking. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, we were third. What? We're still undefeated. Oh, finally, they put some respect on our name. We're starting 10-0. 20-0, uh-oh. Dude, maybe putting Carmelo at power forward was a good move. 30-0. Oh my gosh, 43 and 0 at the trade deadline. Bro, LeBron's a 98 now. I think we're gonna get him to a 99. He's only 24. We're cruising through the season though. It's time to resign everybody. Now, this is the moment of truth. Will I be able to resign Gilbert Arenas? I'm gonna try to offer him like low key less. Will you offer? Okay, he accepted that. Now, let me do that. Will I also be able to resign Tim Duncan? We'll see. I'm low key having this go down. Oh my dude, this is not good. I can only sign him for the minimum, but. We can wait till next year, but we don't want this to like pile up. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Okay, the footage corrupted here, but we went 80 and two the season and swept the Pistons in the finals, making that ring number 11. I can't do it with two hands anymore. Gilbert Arenas finals MVP. Kenny Anderson is retiring. Is he a Hall of Fame player? Abolish the salary cap. Dude, that'd be so nice for us considering that we're starting to get into a little bit of an issue there. It's already coming back to bite us, but we're like hanging in there. We're like treading water right now. We'll just see what happens. Remember, we traded our pick. It was the Bobcats pick, which I'm glad we did because they're not even in the lottery. Yeah, they got the 29th pick. This draft does have Steph Curry though. You know what? I'll explore it. I'm just gonna jump into this draft and see what people will offer us. I think we have enough assets at this point to where like people will give up their number one pick. Okay, never mind. I mean, we could potentially trade up, but is it worth it? I mean, Gilbert Arenas is still young. Ah! Uh... I mean, bro, I think we should do it. I think we should. Cause Gilbert Arenas, I mean, he's peaked at like 97 in some Sims. Maybe we're like holding his development back or whatever, but I mean, he's won eight championships with us. But in terms of his progression, like he's definitely plateaued. I think he's gonna stay here. And I think Curry will be better. And we get Pau Gasol, who's a good piece to potentially trade. He's still in his prime. I think we should do this. I think this is a good trade. All right, wait, that doesn't mean we have Steph Curry yet. We still don't have the number one pick, which I'm assuming the magic will let us trade now yeah we'll just give up the zach kelly guy i mean dude we're doing a lot to be honest for pick number one but i want steph curry so you know what we do man we get the best player in dip and with the number one pick we got steph curry a new point guard he's gonna start off starting on our team which kind of shows the lack of depth in a way but i mean 
that's still a crazy pickup. Will this create cat problems in the future? 100%, but we'll figure it out, right? Wow, that is crazy. It's good that people like Kevin Durant are still on like smaller contracts though. Imagine we picked up Paul Pierce as well. Oh my gosh, there's no way we can, right? Nah, we can't afford anyone, dude. We're pushing the cat minus 60 million. Everyone's like minimum that we can afford. So this is not looking good. I hope Tim Duncan didn't decline too much this season because we just did re-sign him or at least try. Actually, we didn't re-sign him. We could just not do that. All right, he's down one to an 89. Carmelo went down too though, because he played power forward this season. That's kind of weird. Like maybe I'll just put him back at small forward and we'll figure it out. I don't want him to just get bad. Kevin Durant's an 89 though. And Dwight Howard's an 87, we'll take that. I'm interested to see what happens with Curry because he's the only other good guard on our team. So not even just good point guard, but good guard. This season will be us entering the third decade of the video, the 90s, the 2000s, and then the 2010s. First thing I'm doing is changing Carmelo position back. I don't want him to be completely sabotaged by this. I didn't think this would be that big of a deal, but let's just do that. I mean, he's already going up back to a 93. Why is our chemistry only 46%? Our team is not that different. I mean, we trade away Gilbert Arenas, but Stephen Curry at an 82 will be our starting point guard. I think this will make him develop really well. Instead of like a Gilbert Arenas 91 situation, hopefully this is like 97. We have like no depth in our backcourt. And then we have this. Tim Duncan at the four. And Pau Gasol is actually going to be our starting center, it looks like, because he's better than Dwight Howard. By one attribute, they'll probably get an equal amount of minutes. They distribute them pretty well. We're power ranked first, thank you, Pulley. I wanna see where Shaq is or how he's doing. On the trailblazers, but he's an 81 now. See, that's what I'm saying. That would get like maybe 10 minutes a game on our team, but he's demanding a lot of money. LeBron is now the best in the NBA. Kobe's the fourth best. Chris Paul is better than Kobe. Remember when I passed on Chris Paul in that draft? I mean, Kobe was at some point better. He's 31 now. Damn, we gotta get these championships up so we can de-age him. We're getting close though. Gilbert Arenas is a 92. Dirk is a 91. No trades to start the season besides dumping our pick. We're sending this one to Cleveland and we're going for ring number 12, which would put us at halfway. It's so cool to see how much the NBA develops in this video. I will say that. We lost two games already to start the season though. And our chemistry is not at 100%. All right, trade deadline is here. We still just keep like one player that's mid tier. I wonder when or if that will end. I mean, it just requires us to still look around in the market, see if there's any good trades, which there isn't. In terms of re-signing though, this is where it might come back to bite us. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of people to re-sign. Ooh, all right, how much cap are we gonna have? What do our contracts look like? Uh, that's a lot of contracts. Tim Duncan is the priority. I mean, he's a 90. How little can we offer him? Or will this even make a difference? All right, he accepted this. I went down a little bit, but like, does that even make much of a difference? All right, next we'll go for Carmelo, even though he has a player option after this. Wait, I can't. Dude, this is like, we're literally like playing catch up now. It's like this. We actually only have three all-stars this year, which I mean, could be a good thing. I don't know. Maybe that means our team's even better. I'm not sure. Everyone's playing like a pretty even amount of minutes though. Oh, we took another L. Oh, five Ls. This is one of the harder seasons. I'm going to be honest. Did someone get injured? Nope. See, love, dude, like Chris Paul, six to eight week injury. I'm just... I'm really actually concerned about that. All right, well, LeBron with the MVP, Curry, Rookie of the Year. It's so funny, he played a lot of minutes and these are the numbers he put up, not insane. LeBron, Defensive Player of the Year, wow. LeBron is racking up the accolades. We went 77 and five. Yo, they say LeBron is a demigod? That's his archetype. Unfortunately, he's injured again with a minor injury. Same time in the year, two to four weeks, twisted left knee. Dude, he's still getting better and better every year. Wow. All right, well, first round, looks like we're gonna sweep through Houston. Second round, sweeping. Oh my gosh. Dude, I actually got scared. I just saw them going. I've been so cocky. Like I just sim every round and then I see them take two games, but San Antonio took two games on us. Ooh, I've always wondered how Nene has one name. How does that work? We won, but that was a little scary. That's the second round up against two seed Memphis in, oh my gosh, what is happening? Dude, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right, well, we thankfully got past Memphis and we're playing against the one seed Pacers in the finals who have Yao Ming. I assume he hasn't got injured yet. Actually, he's only had one injury his whole career so far in the sim. That's crazy. Antoine Javinson, who is recovering from an injury. Iggy, we have uh, this though. <laughs> First game we're taking, second game we're taking. Dude, it's so weird like how this works. We just swept, let's go. That's ring number 12, halfway through this. And you can see Kobe Bryant becoming the first NBA player 
ever to reach 12 rings and this is only halfway wow lebron with the finals mvp what were like people's stats this year that's what i'm wondering because we're getting so stacked it's like no one can really shine yeah lebron 20 points kobe 17 points like everyone's getting their points in it's very interesting Shaq has finally hung up the jersey wow what a career for him though 10 rings four finals mvps just a lot and of course we got to retire his jersey right we're not in this draft at all i mean the best person out of this draft is probably like paul george we got a decent head coach but yeah no draft what Wait, Carmelo had a player option and he declined it? What? That's crazy. I mean, we'll probably be able to just pick him up in free agency. We'll see. Yeah, from now on, I'm not adding player options to any contracts. I don't care. That just makes things more complicated. Actually, can I even resign him? Because I like, can I even afford to? I think I can, right? Oh, okay, I can. What? We lost Melo? Oh, that is not good. That is not good, man. Why is he leaving the team? Bro, all right, no more player options, boys. We learned the hard way. Um, we can't sign anyone else. So trade up lost him. Could have traded him, right? That's not good. LeBron's still 97. Kevin Durant's a 92 though. I mean, I get it. We have Kevin Durant too. Tim Duncan's starting to decline. I think it's time to trade him. But Steph Curry went up five overalls to an 87. I'm surprised Dwight Howard is not progressing that well. Kevin Garnett is starting to get old a little bit. Chris Paul went down one overall because of that injury from last year. Dang, Derrick Rose is an 88. And one of these Sims, we definitely need to get Derrick Rose because I want to see like a Derrick Rose, what if he doesn't get injured situation. Not like a video dedicated to that but uh oh this is the new era d rose lebron this is my favorite era of the nba the 2010s wait it didn't even get called the lebron era i obviously have a bias though because this is what i grew up with i'm sure a lot of you guys grew up with it too i don't know if the nba today just isn't the same obviously we have to resign kobe just make sure there's no player option yet he accepted let's resign lebron there we go so they're on five-year contracts now getting paid like 20 million and we're gonna have to wait for dwight howard and Pau gasol now i thought we weren't gonna actually play with the trade finder for the first time this year but it might be time for tim duncan to go he won 11 championships with us he's ironically the only person that's like up one overall right now but i don't think we're gonna get someone good once you get to like the high 80s in terms of trades like no one gives anyone good so yeah he's not there yet but it's cool we get to keep him longer it's probably just because he's tim duncan i mean he's still that good at 34 other than Shaq, who just declined very quickly, honestly. All right, we're dumping our pick to Portland for 2014. Wow. This is a great start, though. 13-0. I'm a little bit concerned, though. I will not lie. Oh, we lost. <laughs> but that second round last year, that series going to six games. You just never know. It's like really unpredictable. Kevin Durant's an all-star, but we only have three again. I think there's still a couple people we need to resign. We're going to wait for that. Who is it? Oh, okay. So Pau Gasol and Dwight Howard will both resign. Dwight Howard, I'd say, is the priority. Are we going to run into the same problem again, though? Let's see here. He declined it? Uh-oh. I think I pushed it a little bit too hard. All right, how about this? All right, you accepted that. Pau Gasol, let's see what you got. All right, dude, we're chilling now. I think it's because we got rid of Carmelo, though. But to be honest, in terms of our record, like, it hasn't made us, like, any worse. And we lose. Never mind. We lost two in a row. I spoke too soon. The thing with losing someone straight up is you don't get anyone back, so it's just an L. It takes a while to, like, work yourself back up. In terms of stats, Kobe's averaging 19, 5, and 8. I remember when he first joined the team, we didn't have that many teammates, so. Kevin Durant's getting up there in the points per game though i wonder what our rotation is like yeah look how even the minutes are kd 33 minutes per game coming off the bench oh yeah our players are definitely getting better like kd's a 93 now lebron mvp i'm calling it yep easy kd sixth man lebron is getting these defensive players of the year which is actually really cool and kd got most improved player what dude he's racking up all the awards He's won sixth man twice, most improved player and rookie of the year. All right, am I too confident by just simming rounds? I mean, the first round was good, but this is where it started to go wrong last year. Are we gonna just sweep Dallas? I think we are. There we go. I have trust. I have trust. Dude, San Antonio is the team that we almost lost to last year, but Boston back in the finals for another Celtics Lakers matchup. Amari Stoudemire, Gilbert Arenas. Oh man, he's just injured enough to not play in the finals. Nick Young is an 84. Was he ever that good? And because Gilbert Arenas is injured, I'm confident enough. All right, they only took a game. That's championship number 13. The accolades continue to pour in for Kobe, which just set another NBA record. Nah, 13 rings is crazy. 
He is not winning any individual awards though. That's for sure. LeBron is stealing his legacy, except for the rings. Chris Webber is retiring though. A lot of people wanted the file out to be seven. That's wild. Oh, there's a new screen for the draft lottery. I don't think we've been in like any of these drafts. Yeah. To be fair, this draft's all right. It has Jimmy Butler and Kawhi. I don't think we have to sign any staff, right? Let's go. Let's see our team right now. Steph Curry, no backups. Kobe Bryant, no backups. KD and LeBron, so that's pretty healthy. See, we just don't have Carmelo. Tim Duncan, no backups. Ooh, we're gonna need a new power forward soon. And then a really good backcourt, but Pau Gasol's already 31. So we do have to look towards the future. Wow, this is like the first video where like, we're not really doing well on the draft picks. We usually have like a few picks every year, but we've traded so many away to get superstars. The future doesn't necessarily look too bright though. Like it's getting a bit concerning, especially in terms of the power forward position. I think Tim Duncan is just holding it down because he ages so well. Remember, we're trying to win every single year. This is not just like, oh, it's a championship contending team. It's the best team of all time that wins every year. So getting Kawhi this year would be kind of counterproductive because we have enough good small forwards. We lost one of them, but in 2012, which is next year, we could get Anthony Davis. So I think we should just hold off on the draft for now and see what we can get for Anthony Davis in 2012. All right, let's accept Curry's team option. We could get Dirk back, but man, that's an expensive expensive contract that I'm guessing we can't afford. I mean, we'll confirm it here. We just extended KD's qualifying offer. Yeah, we can't get Dirk. No way. Mike Conley. Dang, I completely forgot about him. He has an A plus three point. Is he that good at shooting? All right, LeBron and Kobe both went down one. A little bit weird. Curry's up three though. KD is up to a 93. Tim Duncan's starting to really decline a little bit, man. 85 is still solid though, for sure. I mean, compared to especially like the first team we had, we would have done anything for an 85. Anyway, we're going for ring number 14, entering the 2011-2012 NBA season. We don't have anyone I don't care about right? Yeah. Everyone's like good or horrible. LeBron has changed his appearance. I think this is a perk of the new LeBron era. He's got the headband now, the beard. He's not going to just forever look young. I'm surprised Pau Gasol isn't really declining too much. He's holding it down too. Okay. Kyle Lowry, Antoine. He's old. Bro, we got to keep him another. Oh, eh. I think we got to do Kyle Lowry, man. Because we have Pau Gasol and Dwight Howard. And he's going to just go down more. And Kyle Lowry is 25. So I think we're going to do this. We'll have a good backup point guard. We have like no depth in the backcourt. All right, there we go. Goodbye, Tim Duncan. You've done so much for us. He won 12 championships. Dang, we're really just saving these guys' careers. All right. I mean, it's not like Tim Duncan had a bad career, but I wonder in real life, what would happen if this actually happened to the league? Like, would they even allow this? Because technically it is allowed. We're within the salary cap. Are we making money? Technically, the profit actually went down a ton. All right, well, we got a young 25-year-old Kyle Lowry on the team now. I just know Tim Duncan is probably going to dip like three overalls to like an 82 after the season. So I think it's worth trying. It doesn't seem like we can get anything good for Kyle Lowry. So I guess we're just going to keep him on the team. Is this a bad move? I'm not sure what I probably will do though. I'm going to play a game and then see what the rotations end up being and just go off of that. Let's just sim through this date. Of course we won. All right. So they're putting Kevin Durant at a starting power forward. Now I think that works, but Pau Gasol is starting over Dwight Howard. Pau Gasol did good in this sim. I'll say that. Dwight Howard. I feel like we've had him before and he also didn't peak very well. Like not even a 90. I mean, he's only 25. He can still get better. All right. We're dumping our pick to the Kings. I just looked to see which teams are the worst and dump the picks there and hopefully they're still bad by the time we draft we always start off the season so iffy though we started off two and two but now we're 14 and two so we're chilling i think at this point the five all-star thing is just a dead mission oh wait we got five i spoke too soon dwight howard's an all-star and i swear he was sixth man dude we're playing really good now i think a big part of it is the chemistry and because we make a lot of moves to start the season not a lot but in perspective a lot like it ends up making us play better we went 74 and 8 lebron mvp again and defensive player of the year wow kevin garnett still killing it though 93 overall 35 years old no injuries no injuries. Oh, well, this guy. First round. I feel like we play Sacramento a lot. All right, well, we swept there. We're going to sweep Denver into the conference finals. The seven seed Golden State beat Dallas four to one. I mean, that's not technically unrealistic, but it's rare. The sim is unpredictable. They took a game on us, but we're up against the Pistons again. I remember when we were up against them not too long ago. Yeah. Tony Parker, Jason Richardson. Now, before we possibly get this down to only 10 rings left that we need, I want to give a huge shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that lets you choose your own designer fragrance to try out every month. And it's only $17 a month. And with every fragrance, you get a 
30 day supply before you commit to buying a full bottle. Cause like, you know, a full bottle is like $200 for these sometimes. And I've been in a situation where I drop like $200 on some cologne and then I don't even use it cause I don't like it that much. So this is perfect for that. There's a ton of different options. Of course you get to choose every month. This is everything I got. And I would say my favorite is the Versace for sure. I also like having different fragrances I can choose from. So I'm always trying to add new ones and this will definitely get added. I also have a killer deal for you guys. If you use code PeterMC with the link in the description, you get 55% off your first fragrance. That's like a steal. It's available in the US and Canada. So if you guys wanna smell a little bit better, you know, I know some of you could, let's be honest. Go check out Scentbird. And again, big thank you to them for sponsoring. I mean, I'm not worried at all. We swept them, I'm pretty sure. Oh my, oh, wait. I'm never doing that again. I swear every finals, I'm not gonna just, I mean, it's not like there's anything I could do, but oh man, that's 14 rings. They took two games, right? Yeah, they did. It was two to one and they were up at one point. Wow, and then we just won three in a row. Woo, that scared me. Jason Kidd, get out of the league and go beat your, don't do that. Steve Nash is retiring too at an 86. Wow, I would still be playing, I feel like, not gonna lie. I wonder what like LeBron is gonna retire at in real life or actually even just in the sim or what Kobe will end up at after like the whole de-aging thing, assuming we win our next championship because that is what we're going for. New Jersey Nets are now the Brooklyn Nets. You know what's interesting? We don't really pay attention to injuries, but you can see the injury history of the player. Like Kobe, for example, he's played a lot of years. It says he's very high risk of injury, but everything is like, all right. He's only had one injury. So it's weird. It says this dislocated left patella does linger though. I think we also do need a new head coach. This guy, I'm gonna just offer him everything. Why is there no interest here? What? All right. Bro, he's five stars and everything. You've got to, what? We're going for one person and one person only. And that's Anthony Davis. Damian Lillard is another notable person, but let's just see what these guys are willing to give up. Kevin Durant. Ooh, Dwight Howard. You know what? I might do this. I think Anthony Davis will be better than Dwight Howard in the sim, but also Dwight Howard's just gonna, like, he's only an 87. I think he's gonna peak there. He's still young. I would rather give up, like, Pau Gasol. We always have to dump these other picks, right? Like the 14 pick. I think this is worth it, though. I think let's just go ahead and get Anthony Davis, even though the stars are like very uneven here. You know what we do, man. First pick and dip. Here we go. Welcome to Los Angeles, Anthony Davis. You did end up playing here in real life eventually, and it's time to sim till the end. Let's go. Wow, Damian Lillard went fourth. Let's sign our boy, of course. I don't know why we're accepting this guy. I don't care. But yes, Steph Curry, you will be staying. Ooh, we can get Chris Paul, imagine. How down bad are we in terms of cap space right now? Minus 24, okay, it wasn't horrible. We still can't really afford anybody, so. We're not gonna do anything. All right, so LeBron and Durant are back going up one overall. Curry's a 92. Kobe's now the fourth best on the team he's 33 years old he's won 14 rings so you know what that means if we win this year we will be able to de-age him so he can actually potentially win all 24. i'm still surprised Pau Gasol is not declining though we honestly kind of need him especially after trading dwight howard memphis for the all-star game i mean i guess it's cool we get Pau Gasol and kobe together on the same team and this is by accident this is just like what we had to trade for the draft we only actually have six players that are good and anthony davis is still developing oh we lost kyle lowry what? Oh my gosh. Wait, I don't think I resigned him. I think we were supposed to resign him. Uh, this is not good. I remember a uh, user error. Bro, this is actually like the worst version of our team in a minute. I hope we're fine though. We'll see, right? All right, we're dumping our pick to the Hornets and let's start simming. Wow, the sim is finally going like pretty fast now. I don't know what happened. Oh, it froze. Oh, no, it didn't. Dude, sometimes it just straight up freezes or just goes really slow. We're gonna have to make some major changes to the team after the season though. I just know it. Because after this, we'll still have nine more rings left. Assuming we win this year. I think we will. This is actually probably the worst year for us in a while especially we're starting off 20 and 4 what we're 28 and 6 dude i don't like this at all did someone get injured dude 33 and 7 no nobody's injured wow all right come on just gotta have faith we do have five all-stars though pau gasol sneaking in there i think that's a good sign right i really don't know see like we only beat the spurs by two the grizzlies by one i don't like this at all i mean we're still first in everything but like it's really about the playoffs okay yeah i know what happened i couldn't have signed kyle lowry there was just no way because it didn't stop for the re-signing deadline and it only does that from my understanding if there's no one to re-sign it did the same this year so maybe trading for kyle lowry was just a bad idea but i don't know 
know why they just wouldn't be able to resign him. Curry's averaging 25 a game now, especially that Kyle Lowry's gone. Kobe Bryant did, unfortunately, now that I see, get injured. He's out for the season, man. Oh, shoot. It was literally like very recent. It's only 1% healed. Dude, that might bleed into next season too. That's an injury right there. I mean, Kobe, thankfully, is like the fourth best person on the team at this point. So it's not like LeBron, but that's not good. I think Curry might take MVP this year. I'm gonna be honest. We'll see. Kobe was averaging 18, 5, and 7. Those are some still good numbers. All right, let's see. Oh, Kevin Durant MVP. All right. Anthony Davis, rookie of the year, as expected. LeBron, defensive player of the year. And we went 70 and 12. So definitely our worst season in a while. Both KD and LeBron going first team all NBA. Now, low key, Demi got here is kind of glazing. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I bet they only gave that to him. Yeah, everyone's like all around threat. We do have the two best players in the NBA right now, though. All right, we're going game by game for actually no we're not we're gonna sit let's sweep that first round on to number two i have a good feeling about this oh they took a game uh -oh. all right three to one four to one round two. Oh shoot oh my gosh what <sighs> the stakes have been risen at least i know it wasn't my fault that i couldn't resign kyle lowry bro is it because kobe's injured who's on the grizzlies what is this this team is okay come on we got this we're gonna come back three one boys calling it right now first game Okay, second game. What? Bro. Wow, 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 wow. We actually got eliminated, we didn't win. This team, I mean, they have Mono Ginobili. Bro, you guys saw that Grizzlies team. That team went to the finals? It's cause Kobe got injured. I, I knew it. We were gonna have an injury. And even though on paper, our team is still like uncomparably better. It was just, just an L. Remember he has to win 15 out of his first 20. So let's win this year, man. Let's not throw the video. Now this draft does have Giannis and we could possibly make Anthony Davis a center. I think it's worth trying to get Giannis, but we don't have a pick going into this draft. We end up dumping them every time we want someone really good. Now I'm not gonna lie. I, we're not necessarily in a good position. We don't have a lot of assets. We don't have a lot of picks. Who can we really trade? I'm not sure. Like, how would we even improve for next season besides just not getting unlucky again with an injury? All right, well, we got a new assistant GM. We're gonna try to see if someone will give us Giannis. Ooh, dude, this is perfect. This is perfect. I knew this was the only player I was willing to give up is Pau Gasol. He's aging. I don't know how much worse he's gonna get. I'm gonna have to see after this, but this is actually usually what happens is we don't have picks because we dump the picks for like number one. We've gotten so many number one picks this video, but I think this is very important. We need Giannis on our team. We can turn Anthony Davis into a center. So we're gonna go ahead, make this trade. We're gonna have a very young, big duo down low, but with another first pick in another NBA draft, we're gonna draft Giannis. Wow, he's actually seven feet tall. That's crazy. He was 205 when he got drafted. There's no way he's still 205, right? I wonder if he's gonna increase in weight as the years go on. All right, that's the end of the draft. We got Giannis. The mission is accomplished. He's gonna only start at a 77. Interestingly enough, Otto Porter went number nine. Of course, we're gonna sign him. No player or team options this year. We're gonna have to match Steph Curry's offer a $75 million contract from the Spurs. And let's see if I was right about Pau Gasol with the player progression. Oh, dude, no, he's still in the 88. Wow, I respect it. LeBron is down to a 96. Anthony Davis is up to an 87, but Kobe down to an 88 now, 34 years old. You have Kenyon Martin, what? It's so random. Wait, how do we get, oh, that was that trade. We don't want him anymore. Look at his overpaid contract. That's probably why they gave us the first pick. He's getting paid 18 million a year and he's a 74 overall. All right, as soon as the season starts, we're gonna dump his contract just in case. I don't wanna run into another thing. Dude, that's crazy though. Like losing Carmelo and then losing Kyle Lowry takes us to the point where we're losing in the conference finals with this team. Well, except no Giannis and put Pau Gasol at 88 over on there. That's crazy. Kobe's injury is still lingering on to this season. I'm not gonna even complain about the Sim. Like, dude, obviously this team should win, but that's how the Sim works. So when the expectations I set are high, you guys see why. Let's get Kenyon Martin out of here. I don't wanna have cap space trouble again. No one wants him. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't blame them, but wow, he declined 
quickly. Who even signed him to this contract? That might be an issue for us. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, we lost Dwight Howard too. Like we lost a decent amount of players to get new young players. See, I don't have the best feeling about this. We only have five people above 80 now. Did I make a bad move in there? I probably did. But when you make like legitimately hundreds of trades, something's not gonna turn out the way you want. We're young though, which is good, except for Kobe. We got Steph Curry, Kobe, LeBron, KD, and Giannis, and Anthony Davis. Like you're telling me that's not a championship winning team? And you can see the pick are not that strong so we don't have a ton of assets especially that we're willing to give up all right we're gonna dump this pick to the kings i'm concerned with how we're gonna play but let's just start simming oh my gosh three losses in four games we're power ranked 12 how is this possible all right is kobe back now all right there that's good that better turn things around dude let's just watch that power rank go up we're at fourth right now okay third okay first not oh, we lost dude what is this we're second like this is not good all right, trade deadline. Does anyone want Kenyon Martin again? Nope. Giannis is injured as well. Look at this team. Come on, we got this. Only three all-stars though. Contract extension deadline. Who are we resigning? Oh, okay. So LeBron Durant and Kobe, who got injured again? Uh-oh, he only wants a two-year contract. He might retire after that, which means we have to win. Kenyon Martin will resign. All right, buddy. No. What does he want? Minimum? Bro, I'm not going to even resign you for minimum. Let's get LeBron in there though. Okay, he accepted. And then finally, Kenyon. Kevin Durant, there we go. He's a 95 now, nice, and Curry's a 93. And Anthony Davis is an 89. If we can just solely rely on good chemistry and good player development, like everyone is just getting a little bit better, we could be good. I want this to be the year that we can de-age Kobe because the fact that he's asking for only a two-year contract is not a good sign. We're taking L's though. Three in a row? Yikes, bro, there's no way we're losing this much. No one's injured. We're about to have five people above 90 again. Bro, another loss? All right, what are the rotations here? Yeah, I guess we only have like six people on our team that are good. 63 and 19, LeBron MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. Like, I mean, usually we're so much better than the team below us, but it's just not like that this year. Kobe's down to 13.4 points per game. Got three people averaging 20. I'm gonna just trust that in this round, we're gonna do well and I don't have to mess with the rotations, but I might wanna try that as a method. I think I'll trust the second round too, but once we get to the conference final, you know what could happen. Maybe we just got unlucky because of the Kobe injury. I don't want to tire players out though. All right, four to one. Nice. See, they're getting some rest here. Okay, let's try this. I don't want to play these guys like at all. I mean, that's like not the best to ask for with six people, like all these minutes. I think this is reasonable. We'll see, man. I don't want to get anybody injured. All right, first game, we won. Second game, oh my gosh, is my, uh oh, okay. Is my rotation working or not? I can't tell. Okay, whew, we're in the final. Woo, that's all we needed, man. That's all we needed. Up against the 76ers. Remember, if we win this, we can de-age Kobe so he doesn't retire and we can still have a chance. D-Rose, Dirk, and Mike Conley. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. This team is pretty freaking good, but we're just better on paper. We're better. Kobe got injured again. Stop getting injured. Oh, and I got aggravated because remember he had a right knee injury last year and he got injured again. All right, Giannis, you're gonna have to step it up, man. All right, we're gonna try with this rotation. Come on. All right, come on. First game, second game. Third game. Oh my gosh, are we gonna sweep? We're gonna sweep the finals. That's the redemption we needed. Kobe Bryant now with 15. He's definitely a legend for sure. LeBron with the finals MVP. Stojakovic is retiring. Wow, we're in 2014 now. And it's time to de-age Kobe. Remember, we're de-aging him 10 years only because he won 15 championships in his first 20 years. Because without this, he would have no chance of winning all 24. I mean, you can't force an NBA player, which I feel like should be impossible, but you can't force an NBA player to just keep playing. So we can just increase his birth year to 88. He's 25 now. He's younger than LeBron Curry. This is now what his graph looks like. It's just a little bit weird the way it works. Like it says he's only years pro for eight years, but then obviously he still won 15 championships. So I'm interested to see if he continues to decline. When we de-aged Jordan, he actually continuously got worse, which is realistic to what would happen. I've never seen an NBA player like go down and then go back up like significantly, right? Maybe like two overalls. That was certainly close though, I'll say that. Allen Iverson is now in the Hall of Fame, he's retiring. Wow, he got all the way down to a 72. The Bobcats are going back to the Hornets. We have no presence in this draft, it would be nice 
to get either Jokic or Embiid, but I mean, you can see there's just nothing here for us. I mean, we could try what we do usually. I don't think we have any staff signings, right? Let's see what we can do for the number one or number two pick. Steph Curry, yep, not worth it again. All right, well, you guys have fun. No draft this year. Wait, we drafted Marcus Smart? What? I mean, sure, that actually might be a decent piece, sure. What? Kenyon Martin had a player option? Oh my gosh, we still have his horrible contract. That's why we got whatever trade we got when we just inherited him. That is like the worst contract in the NBA at this point. So Kobe is just staying where he is. Giannis is up four. Curry's down one? I don't understand this. Kevin Durant's down one. AD is up four. So Kobe Bryant's now the fifth best on our team. And it's time to enter the 2014-2015 season with going for ring 16. I wonder if Marcus Smart will develop well. I'm happy Giannis and actually everybody is relatively better. So I think we should be fine this year. Oh, shoot. Dumping our pick to the Jazz this year, which I think they're power ranked. 30th to start the year off so that should work out oh my we lost our second season what is dude we start so bad we start so bad what happened what's wrong all right that's better man we have four all-stars this year let's send to the end of the season all right closing in on the end of the season unfortunately lebron is injured for the rest of the season that's never happened to him in real life i'll just say that bro what is it with the left patellas or the, the, everything is patella kevin durant's gonna have to step it up Giannis is gonna have to step it up kobe's averaging 15 3 and 6 i mean pretty balanced team right here i just it sucks man the injuries hey it's interesting though it makes things a lot harder lebron still did win the mvp Jokic, rookie of the year lebron goes crazy with these awards we're 74 and 8 are we going to have trouble in these playoffs i have no idea without the oh my come on i might have to adjust the rotations again i don't know if that actually helps dude i don't like this i don't like this at all oh my gosh dude there's no way the first round right thank you all right what are these rotations all right see we have this guy why don't we just do this doesn't this make more sense like these guys should not be getting minutes like that i know i'm like kind of tiring out my players but bro Giannis, you're an 82 now you can get some more minutes all right this is what we're going with i think this should work denver is next come on come on we gotta push through uh oh they took a game they took two games they took three games Dude, this is so close. I think it's the depth. We need to start focusing on depth. And LeBron's injured, right? <sighs> Man, this is crazy. All right, come on. First game, second game. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Sweeping into the finals against the 76ers, who have Derrick Rose and Dirk. Dirk has aged very well. 90 overall at 36 overall. But Mike Conley... He's not gonna be able to play. Unfortunate, man, these injuries. If they had Mike Conley and we didn't have LeBron, that would be crazy. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on, please. No! What? Dude, two years in a row? They won at the very two. Derrick Rose. Ray Allen's retiring, Tim Duncan's retiring. He won 12 rings with us. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, at least we got to the de-aging because I'm pretty sure if we didn't want this year or last year, we would have failed everything. I might be wrong about that. All right, best player in this draft is probably Devin Booker. We do actually have a 0.9% chance. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, it might just be worth trading to pick. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna send this pick to the Thunder and dump it. Sim to the end. We need more redemption. I think everyone's getting better though. Of course, no free agency. Oh my gosh. Anthony Davis is now our second best player if LeBron heals. When is he gonna heal? Well, we'll see. At a 95. So maybe that's our like dark horse or I don't know what the term is. Um, Person who's actually gonna progress well because Curry's peaking at a 91. KD at 93. Like no one's really being as good as they should be except for maybe Anthony Davis. I'm not sure. That's so weird. It's kind of cool. It's random. I'm expecting more out of Giannis too in the future. Again, going for ring number 16 in the 20. 15, 16 season. I thought about trading Marcus Smart, but I think he's good where he is. Kobe needs like a decent backup. He's called a point of attack stopper. So this is where we're at now in terms of picks. We're starting to stack some up. And it's funny because we're getting LeBron and AD that won a championship with like not really a good amount of help in 2020 on the same team now. But now we have Kobe, Curry, 
and KD and Giannis. And like, we couldn't win last year. I mean, obviously some of them are still young, but I don't know what to say, man. That's how challenging this is. To be fair though, I mean, not to this degree, but there have been a lot of super teams that NBA teams have created, especially in like the past five years. Everyone's like, oh my gosh. Like remember Kyrie, James Harden and Kevin Durant? Like there's just been so many that didn't even do well. Bro, look at this night and day difference. We're starting 32 and one, 33 and one. I don't think we're making any moves at the trade deadline, but looks like Curry's injured with that pinched back nerve, not too big of a deal. I mean, this looks a lot better now. See, I like having two players 95 plus. I think that's what really makes teams well. I think we do need to still work on some depth. We have like six good, should be really good players. And then like, eh, you know, I'm just happy we got rid of Kenyon Martin. That's gonna help a lot with re-signing both Kobe. Now this is good. Kobe's asking for a three-year contract this time and he accepted, nice. Man, this is so much better, 65 and seven. We're almost at the end of the season. Kobe is injured again with a strained right Achilles. Yikes. It looks like in terms of his progression, he's plateauing now. Maybe he'll get better, maybe he'll get worse, or he could just stay there. Wow, we beat the Nets 149 to 90. Nice. Kobe's getting his uh 16 points per game in still though. It's like pretty balanced, which I like. Giannis, sixth man of the year, LeBron defensive player. He went 75 and seven. All right, we gotta win this year. Like we have to, we need redemption. Let's go next round. We're going into this confident, which may be a mistake, but look, two sweeps back to back. Three sweeps back to back. We lost to the 76ers last year, but we didn't have LeBron. We have Kobe back from the injury. D Rose and Dirk is a cool duo, but I mean, everyone else. Eh. Al Horford's only an 81 in this? Interesting. All right, come on. We got this first game they took. Second game we took. Third game they took. Fourth game we took. Third. Come on, come on. Oh, there's no way we're doing this again, right? There's no way. There's no way. All right, deep breath, ready? <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna do SimCast. It makes it more climactic. Oh no, 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 it's a close game. No, yes, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. That's like, that's very, very relieving. Whew. That's number 16, boys. We got eight more to go. Anthony Davis wins finals MVP. Wow, 50% from the three-point line. Dude, look at all these jersey retirements. All right, I actually purposely traded all my draft picks for this year. You can see we're not in it because there's no one in this draft I really would want. All right, well, we got a pretty good coach. I'm gonna keep Marcus Smart. I think we will. Why not, right? It's not expensive. We're gonna keep Anthony Davis's qualifying offer, of course. He's up though, up to a 96. LeBron is down to a 95. So Anthony Davis is our best player now. And Kobe went back up, wow. Okay, so maybe he will go back up in overall. AD is the best player in the league right now, wow. But it's time for ring 17 in the 16-17 season. And it's time to go. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, we lost. All right, at the trade deadline, we're 46 and two. That is so much better. I have five all-stars, let's go. LeBron is hurt, bruised right hip. Be fine, right? Imagine we go 80 and two this season. It's just so random, I'm telling you guys. Look at this, wait, like our team is the same, right? Curry at the one. Kobe at the two. I guess he's an overall better now. We have all three of these guys. And then basically LeBron at the three, Durant at the four, AD at the five. I mean like, I don't know. I don't know what changed. KD MVP, yep, I was right. Giannis, sixth man of the year, LeBron defensive. I think we know what to expect from this point. Sweeps. Look, look at this. Second round, oh my gosh, they took two games. We got this. Woo. Okay, Woo. who are we going up against in the finals? The Wizards. Chris Bosh, John Wall, and Brooke Lopez, and Steven Adams. I mean, like, I guess. It's cool how they got John Wall too, just like in real life. Giannis got injured though. He's out for the season with the torn right meniscus. All right, come on, we got this first game. Yep, yep, come on, come on, sweep. Bro, why do we have so much more trouble in the second round when they took two games? That's number 17. Steph Curry stepping it up, even though he's only a 91, but he won the finals MVP this year. You can see the league definitely progressing here. We have the fourth highest chance at the number one pick. I think we go for Jason Tatum, man. A lot of people draw comparisons to him and Kobe, we got the sixth. All right, we're gonna have to try to trade up from here. 
but I'm not trading Kevin Durant for him, right? Okay, hold up. Going up to number four. Are we really gonna have to go one by one? Here goes three. Imagine people actually did this in the draft. All right, we're gonna cap at three because they want Kobe. Hey, I'll take three though. This is more interesting draft. Ah, they took Jason Tatum. Who's gonna go number two? De'Aaron Fox. Okay, I'll take that. You know what? It's not Jason Tatum, but I think we'll pick up Donovan Mitchell. I think that's a good pickup. Better than Bam, I think. All right, decent pickup. You know, it's not like a all or nothing sort of situation we usually do, but I think it's good. I really think the most important thing is depth. I think we need to have seven, eight, maybe even nine, like actually good players. We were sitting at like six, and I think that's a big problem. Giannis is now an 88, which is good. I don't know why Marcus Smart is declining. All right, you're gonna get traded, buddy. I did not like that. And now we go for ring number 18. The 17, 18 NBA season getting closer to today. We're really playing all of Kobe's career and extending it all the way up to past today. All right, we're dumping our pick to Memphis. It's time to sim. All right, we're starting 4-0. I think this will be a good start to the season, and we're stacking up draft picks now. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting a little bit better year by year. All right, trade deadline. Anthony Davis is injured for two to four more months. That's our best player now. Better than LeBron for whatever reason. The unfortunate thing is that it's actually a little bit hard to appreciate this team. Like, look at the team. LeBron, Durant, Curry, Kobe, Giannis, Anthony Davis. Like, that's a really really good team but because of the lack of ratings going up like i'm not sure it doesn't seem as good maybe that's just something different about this year five all-stars in here now Giannis is an all-star kobe's staying the same in terms of his average just like 17 4 and 6 every year but that's good you know that's a good role to have nobody to resign so we're gonna move to the rest of the season let's see how we do uh-oh two losses in a row are we gonna get another kevin durant mvp no lebron this year lonzo ball got run of the year from scoring six points i mean like what five rebounds six assists it's not bad but like come on now Giannis, sixth man lebron defensive player of the year we want 76 and six let's run through the playoffs and get this 18th ring they took a game uh oh houston we're running through all right back in the finals we swept okc but it's philly again d rose is injured ah oh, how did they make it to the finals like this did he like just get injured oh yeah may 15 Ooh, well we should just be able to run through them right Wait, they have CJ McCollum and he's only an 81? This is like a weird team. Al Horford's injured too. Bro, the injuries, I'm telling you, adds the RNG. Sometimes it's in our favor, sometimes it's not. We're injury free right now. Look at that smile from LeBron. Yeah, he's definitely happy. Let's just, oh my gosh, how? How? If we're gonna go out, we're gonna have to go out during SimCast. It's not like this actually changes anything, but like, I wanna see it in real time. All right, come on. We're in game seven. Come on, we got this. No, 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 no. Oh, I feel so helpless, man. I feel so help. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no. All right, we're going fast. Come on, come back, come back, come back. Come on, we got this. Come on. No, no. Oh, no. Come on. We're so Oh my. Dude. No way. How does this team win if there's so many injuries? I don't get it. We go like 76 and six and get this. Like, this is how hard this is. Dirk wins MVP. I mean, you were on our team before, but. <sighs> and he's retiring after that. Wow. Abolish the salary cap, please. That'd be funny. Dude, I still can't believe we lost. Even with DH and Kobe, I don't know if we're gonna pull this off. Why is Philly giving us so much trouble? All right, we're not in this draft. We need an assistant head coach. We're not re-signing Mr. Willy Wonka or this guy. As usual, cannot afford any free agents. Donovan Mitchell's up, but everyone's kind of the same. Like he went back up a little bit, but then I guess he's like gonna plateau here. We'll see, and then eventually he's gonna go back down. And we're going for ring 18 again. We have seven good people now. Like there's just no way we lose again, right? We're dumping this to the Pistons. We lost our first game. Oh my gosh. All right, come on. Dude, we're cutting it really close. Are we gonna actually be able to win 24 championships with Kobe? The, the agent only helps so much, but this is it. I think it's just losing those people, like losing Carmelo, losing Kyle Lowry. It might just be players not developing to their full potential. I mean, there's a lot of things you could probably point it to. All I know is that we're gonna do the best we possibly can to still try to pull this off. All right, contract extension deadline. Anthony Davis will resign. I mean, who? doesn't actually say they're gonna resign. Well, it's happened a few times. It's usually like the B tier players on the team. Of course he accepted. 
Kobe, we got a re Oh my gosh. We're running into another cap space issue. I guess we'll figure it out next year. Looks like Giannis is out with a sprained right knee. I'm gonna predict Kobe's stats right now. 17, four, and six. Oh, 14, four, and six. Wow, okay. All right, looks like this is gonna be, well, I hope, a very successful season, 76 and six. Dude, it's crazy how we can just still lose. Anthony Davis, MVP. Giannis, sixth man, LeBron, defensive. Why would Anthony Davis not be a defensive player of the year? I don't know. That's crazy. Is Giannis better than LeBron now? That's crazy. LeBron is not on any all NBA team, but we have AD, Kevin Durant, and Giannis on some of them bro we gotta pull this one off it took a game in the first round is Giannis healed yet he is okay we got no injuries everything's going for us man everything is going for us well we're sweeping golden state we're sweeping okay oh we're not we're in the finals mike conley andrea barniani i probably butchered that i just think of like chicken barniani <laughs> all right come on dude like, like on paper it should be easy but let's get ring 18 right here come on sweep let's go ring number 18 for kobe we have six more to pull this off we're cutting it close though ad finals mvp Pau gasol has decided to retire and Joe Johnson. Wow, we're really progressing in this. We're at 2019. I would assume we're not retiring Pau Gasol's jersey. No. How are we on this draft? Okay, we're pretty good. We got an 8% chance at the first pick. This is the 2019 draft. Basically just Ja or Zion. All right, let's see what we can do in this draft. We need a number one or number two pick. This is our lineup right now. Curry, Kobe, and Donovan Mitchell there. So we're pretty good in the guard position. We're very good in the three position. So Zion technically, I think, is a power forward though. So we could use either. It's not like we have too many. Man, we're capping at four. What can I get for pick number four? I think this might be worth it. Yeah, we'll try this. So nobody in this draft, but we're stacking some picks up. We're accepting Donovan Mitchell's team option. No free agency as usual. Yo, Donovan Mitchell's an 85 now. I'm impressed. But LeBron's kind of getting old, I guess. Uh, 94, Kobe is staying where he's at. Curry is also staying at 91. Come on, Curry. I expected more. It's weird. Like, there's no, like, 99s in the league. We do have the three best NBA players in the world right now. All right, we're going for ring number 19. It's the 19... 20 season so this would be the bubble in real life no trades let's just play yo we're starting off hot 27 and 0 we got four all-stars in here i'm pretty sure i could rig it because there's like captains at this point and just pick everyone from my team we're not gonna do that but it'd be funny we did take an l though who do we need to resign oh wait i forgot anthony davis is not eligible to resign what oh my gosh we have to resign so many people and like we didn't have the cap space and Giannis has a player option. When did that happen? When did we give him? Oh, it's the new rookie contracts, I think, right? No, it's not that. I think it's matching whatever happened when he was a restricted free agent. Okay, well, Kobe is our priority. He accepted. Um, Then Curry, because these are the ones that are going to run out. He accepted. Giannis, I think, is important because it's a player option. And he could, like, decline it. If I don't know. I'm going to get Giannis in there, I hope. He accepted. Okay. Are we going to get all five of these guys in there? LeBron is next. KD currently has twisted right ankle oh my gosh look how bad the cap room is oh all right well hopefully we don't run into a situation next year right oh we took another l but we're gonna finish 80 and 2 anthony davis mvp Giannis, sixth man lebron defensive player kobe 15 4 and 6 first round of these playoffs oh so pretty soon we're gonna have the play in tournament hopefully we ever end up in that dude we're just cruising through these we're cruising through these the hawks is matching up against us with jason tatum who we could not draft unfortunately clint capella porzingis is out for the season wow all right well last Last time a major player was out for the season we still lost i don't know how but i think we got this right one two we went 80 and two this season come on let's go we swept through the entire playoffs that's ring number 19. we're going for 20 next year anthony davis mvp for the finals gilbert arenas has retired he won eight rings with us i think we'll retire his jersey right Dwayne wade is now retiring wow Dwayne wade retiring before kobe of course, both of them are going into the Hall of Fame, but yeah, okay, we will retire his jersey. Nice. Yep, here's the play-in tournament. Uh, we're doing all right in the draft lottery. At this point, like, it really depends how fast players are gonna develop. We got 10 and 11. Like, we could just keep dishing those off until we get actually someone good. Like, is it worth trading up in this draft? I mean, LaMelo Ball, maybe? We're gonna get a new head coach here. I'm only gonna draft either LaMelo or Anthony Edwards here in this 2020 draft. So if we can't trade to one or two, I'm trading the picks away. But as each draft goes on, the players get a little bit less valuable because 
because they will not develop fast enough. So if there ever was a draft where I like trade up, it could be this. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna try something stupid. For four first rounders, I want the number one pick. Oh, they agreed to it, man. So stacking those picks was actually a great idea. You know what we do with this? Number one, get our player and get out. We got LaMelo Ball. That's crazy. It just shows his high school because I mean, he was in like Lithuania and all this other stuff in between that and the NBA. Anthony Edwards also would have been a good pickup, I will admit. But because Curry peaked at a 91, it like doesn't really matter. Also, we have Donovan Mitchell at a backup two position. We're going to be signing him, by the way. Wow, Carmelo's still a 93 at 36 years old. He wants $40 million, which we will not be able to pay him. So no free agency again. We're doing solid, though. We swept through the entire playoffs last year. KD's up one, LeBron is down one, so Kevin Durant's now better than LeBron, but Anthony Davis is better than both of them. Giannis went up one, okay, respectable. Kobe's staying the same, very interesting. Kobe's the same age as Kevin Durant in this now. And Donovan Mitchell's going down, what's happening? See, like, why do the players progress so weirdly? I mean, I know they're not getting like the most optimal amount of minutes. Another all-star host, by the way, but it is a bit weird. All right, we're going for rig number 20. It is now the modern era, right? Yep, the modern era. Wow, look at our team. Curry and LaMelo and Michael Carter-Williams is okay. Kobe and Donovan Mitchell, LeBron, Durant, Giannis, Anthony Davis, and that's it basically. <laughs> Do you think dumping the picks will even matter at this point? You know what, we'll try it because that's a sooner pick. We lost our first game. Let's go. Anthony Davis and Kobe got injured, nice. Oh, I might've messed up last year with the All-Stars because I used to just only go to one team, which was West, but because there's new captains, I mean, maybe there was more, but we have four All-Stars this year. Kobe's given us the good old 12 points, four and six. I wonder if after the season, he'll start to decline and we'll have to really be at a race against time. Uh-oh, I forget we have to resign LeBron and Durant again, and we couldn't last year. We couldn't afford to. All right, LeBron accepted. Can we afford Kevin Durant as well? We're gonna be minus 140 million in the cab. There's, oh my gosh, we can't. We can't resign Kevin Durant. Okay, at what point can we? Dude, this is bad. Not Kevin Durant. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Do we have to trade Kevin Durant? Maybe we should have traded LeBron because he's younger. Oh my gosh. And Anthony Davis will resign. Can we sign Anthony? Anthony Davis? Oh wait, but that doesn't matter. That's like two years ahead. Bro, do we have to trade Kevin? Oh, we can't. It's past the trade deadline. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Are we just going to lose Kevin Durant? I'm not sure. We don't have any like bad contracts that we can just dump. It's either rookie, max, because people want max or like minimum. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think maybe let's just focus on winning this year. Kevin Durant MVP. <laughs> That sucks because we might lose him. LeBron Defensive Player of the Year. Wait, what did we go this year? 73 and nine. We're against the OKC Thunder in the first round. They took a game on us. Yikes, but that's good right there. Next up, the Pelicans we swept. Dallas were sweeping and then the Hornets? Really, the Hornets. Doncic, oh, there we go. Doncic, they have Luka, Jamal Murray, Lori Markkinen, who's, I mean, I guess he can still play. Kyle Lowry, they were a six seed which is very interesting. I think we're gonna sweep through them though. Oh, no, we're not. All right, two to one, three to one. Is this it? Let's go, man. Ring number 19. Wait, no, that's 20. Tyson Chandler and Zach Randolph are retiring. Dwight Howard as well. Is he gonna get a jersey retirement from us? He will. Wow, no historic change is coming. All right, do we care about this draft? We have four more rings to win. Okay, we're not even in this draft. Philip Hammonds, welcome back to, I don't even know who was on the team and who wasn't. All right, so what are we doing with Kevin Durant? That's the big thing. We're gonna extend Donovan Mitchell's qualifying offer. Um, I mean, he's a free agent. He's unrestricted. Can we negotiate a contract with him? Oh, we can't. We just lost Kevin Durant. I swear before it never got this bad with the cap and I just had to straight up lose somebody. But from now on, I know for sure we're resigning people before the trade deadline so I can at least get someone for them if I trade them. Anthony Davis and LeBron have gone down one. LaMelo Ball up three, Kobe down one. So he is starting to decline again. Mitchell down one, why is he doing so bad? We're going for 21 boys. Oh, we lost our first game again. Dude, we're still playing good without Kevin Durant though. Like it's really weird. Well, so far you never know what's gonna happen in the playoffs. 
Actually, I'm curious, what team did he go to and will that team be a threat? He's the best player in the NBA right now. He's on the Nuggets, okay. Luka's the second best. Wow, so remember how we had like the three best? Wait, where's LeBron? LeBron is injured, oh. And Anthony Davis is, so. I mean, I guess we're still playing pretty good. LeBron is 37 now though. All right, now before we even hit the trade deadline, who do we need to resign? LeBron, Anthony Davis, Giannis. Anthony Davis is top priority because we only have one year. He accepted and let's get Giannis. Will we be able to have Giannis? All right, well, we'll have to wait till next season. This whole financial help thing makes no sense to me. Maybe one day I'll understand it. Like I understand it to a basic level, but I don't know where the hard cap is. So I don't know at what point it's just not gonna let me sign people. It doesn't really say it anywhere. Or if it does, I just have no idea. Oh wait, maybe we're not playing that good without Kevin Durant. <laughs> well, I think it was also those injuries too. Is anyone still injured? Anthony Davis, fractured left leg one to two months. Why is Donovan Mitchell heated? Well, you expect to start over Kobe? I'm actually a bit concerned. Like we're not playing the best. Yeah, this is one of our worst seasons in a while. No one on our team won MVP. LaMelo, sixth man of the year. LeBron, defensive player of the year, 65 and 17. All right, we simulated the play in. I have confidence. Hello? Whew. I mean, two games in the first round. Anthony Davis is recovering from a left knee tendinitis. Donovan Mitchell's overall status and morale, horrible. Come on, Western Conference Finals. We're taking the first game, taking the second game. Uh-oh, they took one. There we go, we're in the finals. See, sometimes they put this at the top. Oh, now there's Western and Eastern Conference Finals MVP. We're up against the Bulls who have Kawhi, Bradley Beal, and Joey Singleton, and Harvey. Are these auto-generated play? All right, whatever. I'm not tripping, right? I think we got this. This is a struggle without Kevin Durant, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. 21. There's 21, boys. Anthony Davis finals MVP. We're hanging in there. We got to win three more. I'm not going to lie. I don't think any of the drafting stuff matters anymore because there's only three more years. The players will not get better fast enough. We do need a new assistant coach. Should be pretty easy. And my three concerns for the rest of these three championships are not having Kevin Durant, our current players aging, and having salary cap issues. Now, Donovan Mitchell was not very happy with us, but oh, he doesn't even want to negotiate a deal. Wow. So we lost Donovan Mitchell too. See, we're like losing players. It's not good. Anthony Davis has gone down. LeBron's gone down too. Kobe's staying the same though. Okay, 88. Giannis has gone down. LaMelo ball up. Like our team is getting worse. Like how are we supposed to keep winning every year if we just keep getting worse? And we have three more. Next year, we do have women Yana in the draft. I, I will just say that. Does that mean we will get him? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna swap my center for Willie Cauley Stein. Two overalls better. Is there a point of still dumping our picks? Nah, because everyone's trading so far out anyway. Okay, we just got to see what we can do. Ooh, we're starting nine and three. All right, who are the best players in the NBA right now? Ugh, AD and Curry are injured. See, like that's another thing. As we get older, we're going to get injured more. Kevin Durant is the best in the league now, but he's not on our team. Come on, just three more years. We got to hang in there. Dude, 15 and eight to start the year. I mean, that has to be 15 and nine. Oh my gosh. I don't like this one bit. We're power ranked fourth, ranked third in the conference. Oh my gosh. Curry's out for four to six months. I think that might be for the season then, right? Like how did Giannis peak at like an 89? Like, isn't that insane? Like Andre Drummond is better than him. All right, let's resign Giannis. And hopefully LeBron too. There we go. And there we go. Thankfully, we could get them both back. Kobe only wants two more years. He's 34. I guess we'll just give him a three year. I hope this is not his last contract. Actually, let me wait to re-sign him because maybe we can get longer. I don't know. Curry will re-sign too. Can we afford it? Yes, we can. Okay, well, at least we don't have a cap issue, but probably just because we don't have Kevin Durant anymore. Kobe's still giving us 14, three and six. Dude, we're ranked third in the West. We're losing. We lost four in a row. All right, well, now we're winning again. Oof, man. I hope Curry can come back, but I don't think he will. It depends how fast he heals, right? Four to six months, because four months would take him into the playoffs. We're second in the West. Can we get to first at least? Like be a one seed? Man, we finished second. Luka MVP. This is like really concerning, man. Hey, man, this is the reality of just a real video. Yeah, the Spurs went 60 and 22. We went 54 and 28. All right, man, we're simming all these game by game. I mean, dude, we've seen some crazier stuff in the Sims, so we'll see. Okay, so we won four to one. That's good. Denver has Kevin Durant, though. Oh, Curry's healed. Nice. Nice. 
That might be what we needed, boys. Oh my gosh. All right, we're on to the conference finals. They took a game against us. Can we still win? Will Curry make the difference? Him coming back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. All right. Are we going to hold this off? LeBron, Western Conference Finals MVP. We're against the Knicks. They were the one seed. They have Brandon Ingram, Doug Norris. That's not a real person, right? D'Angelo Russell. Basically, the Lakers before they got LeBron, right? Jalen Green. Okay. Well, we're just better. Look at the paper. Curry's out again. Oh, my gosh. Curry got injured again. Everyone's getting injured. I think we still got this. Oh, no. Come on. Dude, this is going to be close. Is it? Is it? Come on. Three to one. Three to two. Let's go! Woo! Man, that was a close one. A three seed. Curry also getting injured again at the end of the season. LaMelo Ball wins finals MVP. Wow. Two more rings to win left with Kobe. Chris Bosch and Carmelo Anthony. Oh, LeBron retired. No, no, no. And unfortunately, it was downhill from there in a desperate attempt to win again i basically had to blow up the whole team we did resign kobe though but we lost to the spurs in the conference finals the next season we made it to the finals but we lost in game seven to the nets kobe's retiring no oh man we got 22 boys we got 22 we were so close but it's just gonna have to be until next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you missed me, try to win 23 championships with Michael Jordan. It's on the screen right now. Make sure you guys check it out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.